하우스 오브 레전드 전설이 시작되는 LCK 우리은행 2024 LCK 스프링 스플릿 대망의 그랜드 파이널에 오른 영광의 두 팀을 여러분께 소개합니다. 먼저 LCK 유일한 전승 우승이었던 22 스프링과 함께 6연속 결승 진출 그런데 그중 다섯 번을 연속으로 묶게 되는 상대는 이미 3핀 팬들의 속도 3입니다 하지만 월드 네 번째 우승에서 징동의 골든 로드를 막은 것처럼 오늘도 상대의 보핏을 막고 무려 2년이나 기다려주신 팬들의 영원 V11 드디어 간다 자, 이번엔 황금 물결을 일으키며 NCK를 요동치게 만든 일황 디펜딩 챔피언을 소개합니다. 힘차게 달려나갈 이들의 발걸음은 절대 멈추지 않습니다. 강력한 라인업을 사랑하며 수많은 상대를 이겨봤고 늘 높은 곳에 있어 왔습니다만 이번엔 더, 더, 더 높은 곳으로 올라갑니다. 압도적인 일왕의 존재감을 우리는 그 어느 때보다도 더 강렬하게 경험했습니다. 쓰리핏을 넘어 사상 첫 보핏이라는 위대한 역사를 만들기 위해 이 무대에 섰습니다. 대상의 보핏이라니! 디펜딩 챔피언! 단물 오랜 기간 황금기를 이끌어온 두 명과의 이 끈질기고 지긋지긋한 암수 관계가 과연 오늘 청산될 수 있을 것인지 I just randomly reset and just broke for no reason. Cool. And I have no sound. Cool. 이 화려한 결승 무대 위에서 어느 팀의 승리를 하든 
엄청난 대기록이 쓰여지게 됩니다. Yeah, I don't know why this shit just resets randomly. But it does. 첫 포핏에 성공할 수 있을지. And my headset is broken. 아니면 이 역시 SK 첫 열한 번째 우승컵을 들어올릴 수 있을지. Let the finals begin. 우리 은행 2024 SK 스프링 스플릿 대망의 그랜드 파이널. 젠지와 T1, T1과 젠지의 대결을 이곳 케이스 보덤을 가득 메운 팬 여러분의 뜨거운 파도 함성과 함께 시작하겠습니다. 브로, it's too insane, actually. Wait, you know what would, would make me even more hyped? If they just had some random music performance. <笑>ちょっと違くたんごはっすね。ちょっと違くたんごはっすね。ちょっと違くたんごはっすね。ちょっと違くたんごはっすね。ちょっと違くたんごはっすね。ちょっと違くたんごはっすね。ちょっと違
Do you play it or are you just going to take it? Whatever, bro, we'll take it. It looks like they made him do that shit. I think it's a good one. ポジションで半年 ナイスワークイブビーインセイン。ゴルジェス、ウソンヘンデ。パロタウンシーズン、スプリングウソンクッカジェカドワンゴン。トゥトクチェギンコンニョメソ。オグンナッタウソンガガンダコキトンチョイ
Like, T1's always best when people start doubting them, bro. When it's like, oh, like maybe they're bad this time. That's when they start popping off. Okay, Keen doesn't look super nervous though. He looks pretty locked in. I mean, bro, you have the best player in the world in mid lane. Be comfortable. You have the best player in the world in mid lane. <laughs> so this game is all about balling and pacing heads don't hit just make it a normal game it's a hard 3-0 i mean i think that the t1's balling is not their strength anymore like with how they've been playing recently it's it's mainly about zeus i think faker has been really consistent I think Fager has been like pretty much good in every single game, but he hasn't been like, he hasn't been like choving, you know, he's just been good in every single game. Um, owner's been pretty stable in their wins, but Zeus has been carrying them. And Goom has been solid, but I think Carry has been a liability. Like, I think recently Carry has been the worst performer on T1. I think that he's good when he plays like. When he, when he played with Aseta, like, it's fine. But I think that when he's playing Nautilus, Rakan, like, he just... Yeah, it's weird. He's, it's, it's weird because it feels like Rakan would be a carry a champion, but he's just not good at it right now. <laughs> Zeus peaking or is he just in a favorable meta? No, Zeus is just like always good pretty much for the most part. Like there's times where his performance dips, like he did have like a choking problem, but like he's pretty much good in every meta. I would say probably the worst meta for Zeus would be like a tank meta. I don't think that it's like he couldn't play tanks, but I think that's the one where people are the closest to him. But in LCK, like, he's just by far the best. I think maybe like Renekton meta and like Bruiser meta is not great, but any meta where you can play weird picks is great for T1. Okay, Senna Varus ban. I like the Varus ban versus Guma. TF ban versus Keen. Okay. I wonder if they're gonna like. Okay, so what? Okay, what I want to see from Gen G is them to pick their top laner later on. Because they can't go like Rexai or something one two three, or they just will meet Vayne. So first pick here could be Azir. Could always be an Azir with these bands. I'm going Kalista. I feel like Azir is just so insane though. Hold on. I'm trying to adjust the volume. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I think, um... I think Azir first pick probably makes more sense. And then... Let me move this. And Maokai already taken. Damn. So it is just going to be Maokai jungle. Canyon loves Sejuani. Oh, Chovy. Quirky. I'm not, I mean, he's probably the best Quirky, but I'm not really a fan of this in a game one. Nah, it won't be, it won't be Draven, I don't think. I think if you go Draven, okay. I mean, if you go Draven, then your supports get banned here. Let's see it. 
won't be the bans from uh jg normally you just ban engage champs now but i guess their mentality is like if you ban the support champs you can't ban vein and they think a vein bans coming through is it just vein is it just vein we're not a ban, okay. Could be Renata and Rail ban. I mean, I don't think you should care about Blitz, your comp right now. So Keen is going to want to blind something that can play into Vayne. Alistar. Can Karia play Rel, actually? Or will Karia just play something like... Something annoying. Because honestly, he could just play like... They could just play Ash Draven now. Poppy. Is it just Maokai support? Could it just be Maokai support, Poppy jungle, counter pick for Zeus? Maokai support's kind of dead though. Okay, if you go rumble here, are, you, are they gonna go... They need an AD jungler? It's kind of weird, right? Because it's like you need an AD jungler, but Lee Sin is not great. Vi is out, Zin is out. I mean, you could go Viego, but I don't think that's like amazing. There's the Viego pick. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's great. Is it just Aatrox on five? I think it's Aatrox on five. For Zeus, it's kind of his best champ, right? Boom. Boom. I'm locked in right now. I like T1's draft. I like T1's draft. Both teams going hard. Yep. I mean, I think the the Corky pick looks out of place. I know Genji plays Corky. I know that that Chovy is like almost undefeated on this champ. He plays it so well. I I really don't like the pick. I don't know. I really don't like the pick. I I still don't believe in it. And if I think about like how Genji played their last series, the way they won is by Chovy playmaking. Like he was he was playmaking them to victory. So I wanted to see him have like more agency in this game, so that his team could like uh, like his his team could uh, you know rely on him to to do things in fights. Whereas I feel like Corky is just not a playmaking champion, right? Like it's a very passive champion generally. Alright. Fix the camera, we go. Yeah. Unless it's, it's, there's 
I mean, I will dominate channel points again, fan. Not a T1 fan. God bless. Wait, they actually ended up playing Poppy support. Yeah, okay, so I thought it was going to be Maokai support and Poppy. Jungle. I don't actually see why it's not that. Like, what? I don't see why Poppy support would be good here. But I don't mind Karia playing something weird. It feels like he's really been struggling on, like, mainstream champs. So, I think it's okay. Uh, Pays didn't get the rend off. He was trying to like obviously rend reset with the minion. Okay. And even Maokai's already here. He was thinking Maokai started Raptors. Okay, Chobi just walks past the wave. Doing his thing. A Canyon just walked back to his uh, red. He would have had to wait too long. To guarantee the push in. He's going to do Gromp here for three first. Canyon will. Okay, Chubby gets the wave crash. Wow, because Keen entered jungle like that? Owner ended up dropping his red, so his tempo is completely fucked, by the way. But because um, Canyon did some failed cheese, it's actually like the, the tempo's even. Canyon should be able to get uh, top crab for sure, though. He's got too much top prio. Rumble's too much of a beast champ. This champion is so insane. <laughs> like Draven is kind of troll. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand the Draven pick at all. The, the reason I thought the Draven pick was not going to come through is in draft there, you're playing versus a lane that's strong. And there's not many, like, great supports into it. And enemy team gets the ability to ban supports on 4-5, so... Thought it was, uh, not going to be Draven. Okay. Baker was hovering here. It's big for him, owner. There's actually nothing that Canyon can do on top side of the map. He's just gonna go grubs, I guess. Maybe he can gank top. They think that he is bot right now. Like, he has no uh, camps on top side, so it's very low chance that he would actually be top side. Flash at Ignite for just Flash, but he's already TP'd. So the idea here is you push him off and you actually keep Wave in a decent spot. Keen is going to trim the Wave that he needs to base. Or maybe he's going to, he's fast pushing the Wave it looks like. Wait, I can't tell. I can't tell because the Heat show top. Okay, he just trimmed the wave, it looked like. Because he has a couple options. I mean, he could, like, try to fast push one wave, ult the next. Swiftness boots here. People like Swiftness boots into Aatrox. Is that a play from Lehens and Pays? Is that even a thing? That looked really sus, bro. He just flash ignited and he didn't even get one sum. Is that good? 
오너가 준비하고 있고요. 비에고는 멀리 있습니다. 자, 정글 동선이 중요한데 이 라인 밀어넣지 못한다고 치면 비에고의 갱킹이 꽤나 잘 들어갈 수 있거든요. 네, 이컬 먼저 꽂고 자, 불질 시작합니다. 네, 비에고 약간 모습. 최대한 길게 가요. 길게 가요. 드리블 하면은 아트 전멸 없습니다. 그래서 비에고가 여차하면 전멸까지. 네, 전멸에서. Oh, we he missed the W. Canyon choked it. Uh, Canyon, Canyon's getting outplayed so far this game. He's not been playing well. His pathing was like really weird. He like went for failed pathing. Um, he was late on his Raptor respawn because of it, which meant that he was able to actually be contested and then he just missed his W flash top. Even kill with the stun. Like, it doesn't even feel like they would kill with the stun because Rumble had no Q. I mean, they could probably trade one for one. I just don't see what the um, Viego is doing in this game. I think the only reason they picked Viego is because they needed an AD jungler because they wanted to go Rumble top. They don't have a knife for this. This is like not easy at all, by the way. Maybe it is. Maybe Callista is broken. Okay. All right. Wasn't easy, but they got the job done. Well played from Pays, honestly. Did a good job getting the initial slow with the minion. Chovy actually caught bot here. This is good macro from Gen G. This is really nice, bro. The way they got out of the situation was really good. Chovy is the one catching bot. Uh, how smart was this, actually? Because the game was feeling like it was kind of like slipping in a way. Felt like they weren't getting ahead the way they wanted to. And then all this stuff goes, uh, all this stuff happens. Now they're chilling. And now Keen can lane bot. And by Keen laning bot, he has the ability to all wave, so he can't even be pressured. Wow, this is really fucking good, by the way. Pretty much a fake play from Canyon there. He has no flash. There's no way he could ever go on to Faker. He's just trying to see if Faker like chokes it or something or wastes his ult, maybe. Six grubs would be really nice. It's also so nice for Rumble to be doing this because, like, you gotta remember item purchases as well. Think about what Genji is doing, and what and when they're doing this, they're doing it at a time where Rumble is the one that's having to late walk to all the lanes, but he's the guy that has swiftness boots, so he's actually moving to lanes way quicker. And he's using this advantage that he has over Zeus. Like, Zeus bought Hextrigger, so he's able to lane. But then he's not even laning versus people that are actually, like... Yeah, he's not laning versus uh, people that do magic damage. Or where the magic damage is going to be, like, the Hextrigger is going to be effective. So if they start swapping all over the map, it's a huge advantage to the Rumble. Don't do it, Lahans. 
please. 그래서 그냥 최대한 아트록스 쪽을 의식 많이 하는 거죠 지금 젠지가. 맞습니다. Okay, he just tried to shuffle Chovy. Chovy didn't even it, like he just must have failed it. Chovy didn't even flash. 소비가 전멸이 빠지거나 그런 게 아니에요. 예. 아 황제 진영은 방금 보신 것처럼 소모가 됐는데 별 소모 값이 젠지 쪽에는 없어요. Yeah, Kid is gonna base here probably. 아래 쪽에서 럼블 드레이븐 일대 고든 또 럼블이 편한 부분이 많아서요. 확실히 젠지가. What is a uh, Keen building though? Really? Protobel first. I don't, I don't like it, man. I don't like Protobel first. I just like Leandre's first every time. I just feel like on Rumble, like... I don't know. Protobel is not a good item. A 1.5k gap. Yep. I mean, pretty much at this point, it does feel like if the Draven ends up getting killed before he cashes in, the game's over. He wants mobility. Yeah, I, I just don't think he needs it. I'll be honest. So here, I think Genji should be very, like, aware of where Draven is, and they should be looking to turn on him if they can. Also, Keen just once again walked across the entire map with his Swifties. He's getting so much value out of his Swifties. Shows them for the Drake. And now he's watching, walking back top. And now because Keen is Swifties, he's going to be able to get to top before the wave crashes. Like, look at how little he's going to lose. Yeah, he's top on the wave. He lost like two melees, I think. If he gets cash in, it's GG. No, I think if he gets cash in, it's not GG. He just needs cash in to be a champ. It's not like super, super easy for him to play later on. Bro, what the fuck? He had no E? Just let that cannon die in front of him dry. Now he's scared because he's playing like weak side right now, right? Like his whole team recalled in his top side, so he's afraid. So T1 are just worse off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely an advantage state for Genji. If you could go into the game with this draft at 14 minutes and you've got a mountain, they've got a chemtech, you've got six grubs and you're up 1.5k gold, you're super happy as Genji. I think Keen talking, uh, buying Swifties was talked about before game or Keen thought, thought about in game. People just like going Swifties generally versus Aatrox because movement speed is really OP into Aatrox, but they're making like use of it. Like they're, yeah. I mean, I think that, that Keen knows that he's he's got them. I don't think that it's like the whole team is like, let's all talk about Swifties. It's more like Keen is like, yeah, I'll, I'll like go late. Like he's just making use of his own boots. He's been maxing himself. He has flash. Okay. Risky, bro. If that rocket hits, Fager's just dead. He held his flash. Oh my god, he's just one shot. Okay. It's both his summoners right there. Oh, both his summoners just for ignite. Makes it really hard for him to play. They sack top and they're just going bot. Okay, okay. This is a big play. This is a good play from uh from T1. This should work out. They get, oh my god. Wait, no, no, no. Maokai's here. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, the Draven cash in. Oh my god. That's so big. Holy fuck. That's actually insane for the game, bro. Now, now Draven is just up 1k gold. Dude, that is so crazy insane for the game. The Draven cash in. Dude, the thing is, it was looking like like because Guma just lost the summoners, it was going to be almost impossible for him to get the cash in. And he's got so many stacks right now. Holy fuck, that was that was tragic for Genji.
아트록스 마저 이제 다시 회복이 되고 있다고 한다면 젠지 아 그동안에 아트록스 말리기 위해서 얼마나 많은 리소스를 투입했는데요 어 그래서 여기서 순간적으로 친구들 I think it's normally he'd be able to uh, like it, it, he'd be able to dodge the Draven ult normally I mean it's just that he got Maokai rooted into the Draven ult that's just crazy 그럼요 거기에다 딱 이렇게 배달을 시키는 거죠 갖다 대는 거죠 자 1위로 몰게 거의 예 that's so insane that's so insane i mean how much did he cash in for he had probably around like it was probably like 850 or something at least i think t1 should drop this drake by the way they should not contest the drake and uh, they won't contest it, I don't think. Genji gets bot turret and they get mid. Or uh, to, uh, top. They're going to look to probably collapse on mid. Chovy's going to greed this wave. He has a package in base, but it's desynced. I wonder if he even goes and grabs it. Yeah, it looks like T1's not contesting figure showing top here. Dude, what's the point of the poppy support? T1 shouldn't contest, bro. Draven has no sums. I think they can give this pretty easily. Enemy team has package, Draven has no sums, it just seems like it's really unnecessary. Bro, I don't know, they just shouldn't do it. It's so risky. See, this is what I don't... Th this is probably one of T1's biggest weaknesses, is like, they don't know how to... They don't know how to, like, play when they uh, when they can't fight very well. Like, when, when Genji can't fight, they understand how to play, like, the map. But when T1 can't fight, they kind of do like the NA Classic, bro. They just showed up to this for no reason. Look at Top Wave, bro. Like, their Top Wave was pushing away from them. They show up here for no reason. They just look at the enemy team. Like, they should know that they can't contest it because Draven has no sums. And Corky has package. Smart from Faker. Good wall. And he's one shot. <laughs> well... It was smart for Faker, but yeah, they can get turned here, bro. They need to walk up. No way Zeus can do anything here. Yeah, it's out macro from Genji. Oh, this is this is this is a great game right now from Genji. This is like a dude, like this is the game that makes the coach fucking happy with you, you know. I mean, also, you have to consider, like, the goal is a 2k lead, and that's with the cash-in coming in, right? So, yeah, it's pretty insane. Dude, I wonder if Keen just went pro-develop for when Zeus goes, like, edge of night just to proc it off. Kenyon has ult. They shouldn't be able to kill him that easy. He does, He's not even ulting. Karia has no flash. Karia should just die here, no? Oh? Okay, they should disengage it. 
Bro, this game is actually really, really insane. Genji's playing so much cleaner than they did versus Hanwha Life. Dude, how do you even get like good like this though? This is crazy. And they look like such a unit right now, man. I mean, there's some LCK games that people will be like are like boring, but this is not a boring game to me. Like Genji did a lot in this game. It wasn't like they just laned and they played like pussies for like 22 minutes. They were like perma swapping. They played. They played for the objectives. They played to fight. They actually like took the fights they should fight. They just played the fights like out in a conservative way once they had like the initial win of space and sums. But this next fight, I mean, is the one where Guma actually has flash, right? So this next fight is the one where Guma can kind of play. And Aatrox is actually pretty strong here as well. So we'll have to see how this next uh, one goes on Drake. And package is synced. Package is synced with Drake, but he doesn't have TP. So Chovy would have to base um, and walk. Does he have Maligma? Nope, not yet. Surprised he bought a full mall this game. Corky is here. Not insane, insane damage. Oh. Wow, nice. Great control of the space. Insane control of the space. Like, uh, this is one thing, bro. I keep on trying to tell people this. Just notice the way Genji control this space. Like, the whole fight. Okay, hold on. We're seeing mid. He's trying to get a shield bow. Proc. Lehens is getting engaged on. This looks desperate from T1, bro. They should not be able to win this fight. Like, they're, they're fighting a 4v5. Q3 flash. Zeus is out of sorts, bro. This is just frustration from T1. They were getting ran around the map the entire time. And now they're just frustrated. They Like, they should never be able to take that fight. They literally took a 3v5, essentially. Their Draven was pushed out mid. Which is not a good fight from T1. But I think they just feel like the game is, like, suffocating. And they, they want to do something. But, okay. So, back to my point. Look at where the fight takes place. Look at how much... Genji cares about controlling this vision. What's happening? Chovy's just dead? Oh, Draven didn't get the cash in here. Draven didn't get cash in. Canyon got the cash in. Chovy has TP on, on uh, spawn. But they don't have good Baron damage without Corky. It's going enemy global red. It's big. When you watch LCK LPL, they fight over the entrances so much. When you watch LEC and LCS, they fight like in the river with full information or in the middle of mid lane. I think that's like a huge difference, by the way. Like Genji are trying so hard to control this area. Like they know if the enemy team walks in, then like it'll be tough. Yeah, this is they're they're just trolling here they know they should never be fighting this it's, it's literally a 3v5 guma can't can't enter this ever by the way
Uh, this and Draven flashed here, and he didn't even get the cash in, and the shutdown goes to Caria. Nah, 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 nah. This is this is not even a good Baron. This is a really bad Baron from T1. This is not like the Barons yesterday. I mean, it's probably like a good. It's actually a pretty good idea to flip it, but they will like like Guma's guaranteed dead. Like they're, like they're dying for this, you know. They should have just tried to live, I think. Play it slow, wait for other people. Oh, clean from Canyon. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Okay, kind of big, kind of big. If they didn't get this two kills, it was like a tragedy, pretty much. The fact they got these kills is pretty nice. I don't think it changes the game much, but gets Baron off the table. I mean, they saw Keen bot and they wanted to fight. They wanted to just force the Baron because they're behind. I think that it's not like a Baron that's, that's good in like practical senses. Like it's not a winning play, but with how far behind they were, I think it's actually, it's probably the best thing they can do. So it's like the result is not good, but it's like, it's the best play you can make. Like sometimes you just have to choose between a bunch of bad results. I mean, Genji kind of inted it at the end, so it wasn't as tragic as it should have been. It should have been three for O and they probably should have lost top turret here. But because of the like, the misplays at the end here, like Keen going behind the turret and stuff, ends up being not as tragic as it could have been. I feel like Lehens could have just walked to carry and then queued and in Faker's direction and seen what happened. Yeah. He just seed. Alright, Soul is spawning in 25. Soul is in 25 for Genji. I mean, they're really, really strong. Or he's level 16. No flash faker, no flash Guma. Zeus has flash. We probably need a like a Q3 flash um, of Zeus onto Corky in order to win the fight. Realistically. Good turn onto Zeus. Really good turn. So smart. No flash on Guma. Should be GG here. It should just get fucked. Oh, owner actually got it. Crazy that owner got it. Kane was basing there. Okay. Okay. So Chovy's actually forced to base. Still does feel like complete control from Genji. I mean, it is losable though. It's not like T1 couldn't outplay ever. Oh, he's just window shopping. Nice. Wait, he just gave 1k gold. He had flash and everything. Bro, what the fuck? Dude, Faker walked up so slowly there, bro. What the hell? <laughs> nice, bro. Look at the rocket damage. Bro, why does this happen so much now? They just want you to sit there and look at the rocket damage. Oh, 
맞힌 거고요. 그거를 뺐네요. 그리고 페이저 이미 뺐지만 늦었죠. 예. 그래서 또 레이븐에게 킬을 넣어 줍니다. Ah, that's definitely worth your flash, bro. That is definitely worth your flash. 갑진 그리고 레이븐의 킬을 페이커가 만들어서 솔직히 먹였고요. 아 그래서 양쪽 다 대박인 게 젠지는 젠지대로 이 게임의 템포. Rent PC. Yep. How else was I supposed to get a PC over here? So I'm using Chrome. It's 2024. I feel like I still see everyone use Chrome. What is Chrome not popular anymore? What are the kids using these days? Most popular internet browsers. Really good rumble ult. The rumble ults have been on point this game. And rumble's such a smart pick because it just it, it's good into all the bullshit that Zeus wants to play. Opera, I have Opera GX at home. I don't I don't like it for some reason. I don't know. I mean, I, like, it's it's a good browser. I just don't like it for some reason. Oh, damage. Wait, so what was the point of the poppy support in this game? It seems like completely useless. I mean, the cash it doesn't even matter. Like, Guma's items are good. It's not like Guma's even weak. It's just so hard for him to play. Is it Baron start? Mm, this Baron start doesn't. There's no reason for this Baron start, though. Like the other Baron start, I kind of. Oh, okay. Good poppy ult. Okay, the Guma has to flash. Guma, just flash, bro. Just flash. Why are they not just flashing? Owner had flash? They could have just flashed out. Like, this Baron start was literally like a for no reason. Canyon could have ulted the Poppy ult, and it was pure flip. But, all right. T1 are extending the game. Is Canyon new smite? He had another smite, no? Didn't he have another smite? If he had, didn't have another smite, he's trolling, but how did they know how many smites he has? Let me see. Let me go back. Oh, he actually trolled. Wait, where did he use his first smite? I mean, they, they don't know that he has he has he has no smite. By the way. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, they probably just don't know he has no smite. Can't imagine they know he has no smite. I mean, maybe. Maybe they know that he used it in the fight, but I mean, he smited for no reason. Kenyon actually really trolled. Okay, so it's Soul for Genji. And T1 just needs one good fight. Yeah, he smited Poppy in the mid fight. Or no, he, he smited, I think, Maokai in the mid fight. But I mean, there was no reason for him to smite that.
아니 용네개더 하기 바로 한두 개가 들어가면 곱하기로 가는 거거든요 그건요 맞습니다 이제 문제는 이제 나오 5분 뒤에 나오게 될이 장로 안타는 결국 피할 수는 없어요 So for Rumble so this I mean Rumble is supposed to be falling off at this point but Keen's just got good enough ults every time that it's not it doesn't feel like he's falling off at all they can play on this wave I mean normally Rumble doesn't even clear waves that well uh, with Baron got most of it we grub diffing or what give uh, global red he can hit he can hit he sees people mid and people bought should be free turret Okay, Corky has max items. He's getting his blue. I mean, game slowed down considerably. A lot of smite steals by T1. In Gumano Boots, yep. Sold them for RFC. Would be a huge catch. Huge catch, huge catch. Bro, they could lose the whole game here. Bigger still is old. Yeah, if they die, uh, T1 can probably. Uh, maybe they could end with a top wave. They'd have to all die because Rumble could clear one wave with ult. Or Rumble would have to have no ult. Chovy is flash there, though. It's really big that Chovy is flash. Dude, this Poppy has been so useless all game, man. Like, I, I, there's something... There's something they don't know. Or I don't know about the Poppy. Baron in 40 package going to be secured by Chovy here. Diego was useless the whole game. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, he has such a fraudulent scoreline. <clears throat> he did nothing for the game. Oh, Guma? Owner's getting cooked as well. Bro, Kenyon didn't want to ult that. Uh, Carry is in trouble, bro. Good stopwatch. Good flash. Clear mid wave. Good flash from Guma there. Pretty big. Once again, really hard for him to play. I thought Kenya was just going to ult over on to Maokai because they knew Maokai had no flash, but he just wanted to play safe. I definitely thought that we were going to see him ult over here. Like, he could have ulted over and, and killed for sure and got the reset. But he just didn't want to, like, compromise the fight because they already, like, won the position, which is kind of how Genji play, bro. They play a lot for position. Oh, T1 doesn't even notice. T1 doesn't even notice. It's gone. Okay. They stayed. So during this replay, Genji, like, they fake based on pays and they stayed. But now they're actually kind of low. 
They're kind of low here, man. Or he has package. They need to find Zeus. Number one priority of this fight is finding Zeus, I think. They found him, they found him, they found him. They can, they can maybe... They can maybe play to kill him. He, he's not tanky at all to Canyon. He's not tanky at all to Canyon and Pace. He has Maw. Nice, so smart by Canyon. Number one priority, finding the Aatrox, and they found him. Perfect. This might be, like, one of the best games I've seen a team play from, like, a intelligence point of view. They definitely made some mistakes getting flipped on. Okay, Guma's just dead. This game's over. GG. Bro, what a game. Oh, my God. Pays. Oh, my God. What did Pays just do? It was literally over. They just had free Elder. Nah, what the fuck? But dude, like, honestly, they literally had free Elder. They actually just sent it onto Faker for no reason. <laughs> oh my god. This was so well played by Genji. Like, but then they just griefed at the end. Like, Pays flashes into the Azir. I think that's, like, the most criminal part of this. The like Guma dies. Owner dies. Like, look at the Kalista flash. The Kalista just flashes in. Really insane from Faker, though. Really good Ian flash out. That was an angle. They lose. They lose the the Drake off this. I think. I think it's just gone. No. Isn't it just gone? Wait, do they just win the game off this? Actually, Canyon is here. It's flip. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. Canyon clutched up, bro. Faker and Goomer are both dead to Trophy. That's game. That's game. That's game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you got your highlight. You got your highlight, but the game's done. Go mid and end. Bro, this game got scary. This game got scary. Faker tried to put the team on his back, but... Jesus, man. I feel like this is a game where if Genji lost it, it would like break. Like it's so hard to come back from that because you feel like you you played so much smarter than the enemy team and then you still lost. Crazy. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to get coffee and stuff and start my day.
Bro, what a fucking game. That's actually such a nice game one, too. Like, everyone's happy, bro. T1 lost. Genji played well. Faker had a big moment. Checks all the bases, bro. Perfect. Cinema. How useless was that poppy pick? Yeah, it was just horrible. I don't know why they picked it. One was like kind of clutch. Just this guy sitting like this, smoking his pipe, and then saying, hmm, yes, you, uh, you biggest scam. I should just put the fucking text in that image. Hold on, hold on. Bro, Pays is low key a fraud. But if you can, like, just make bot lane stable with draft and win everywhere else, you're good. Oh, 
Hold on, I'm making it. <laughs> it looks so ill actually. Hold on. Perfect, bro. Perfect. It is beautiful, bro. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Ah, Chobi's so good. I hope he wins the world. Just to shut everyone else up. For Genji 3-0 or T1 choking hard on the fifth game, uh, I would like a Sosa into Epic Choke. I'd be down for a Sosa into Epic Choke for sure. But for how the series looks, I don't know how it would get there. I think T1 needs to draft like heavily to try to expose bot lane. You know what's funny is people are like, people on Twitter are like, laughing my ass off, do you lack the common sense that not everyone in the world has English as the first language? Bro, the, 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 the comment is funny because of the English. But the reason why the comment is completely redacted is because Chovy is performing like super well. I'm calling him one of the best players in the world. 
and the answer is like uh yeah chovy oh, is how can he be one of the best players in the world if he doesn't have a world skin dumb he doesn't have a world skin if he hasn't won worlds how could he be the best in the world which is obviously illogical in a team game right like we're playing a team game chovy happens to be the best player in the world and his team is one of the best in the world because of it mainly because of it like they're probably playing losers bracket and hanwha life's waiting in grand finals if they you know i mean if he does it actually step up huge but you can't 1v9 your way to worlds man to a world championship <laughs> stop that voice that's just the voice bro that's how they sound Last casual tweet. Baker with absolutely with the absolute play of the year. Unbelievable. They still lost, but my God, what a play! <laughs> yeah, it was a nice play. I mean, Faker was just trying to carry this game one v nine. It's pretty hard. Like I don't know, man. It's pretty hard. The thing is, I don't even know what you do, right? Because it's like Faker pretty much has to play Azir. So Chovy doesn't play Azir, but then Chovy actually has like better answers to Azir than Faker has. Like Faker also plays Corky, but Faker's Corky is not close to as good as Chovy's Corky. And more importantly, his team doesn't play well around having a Corky. I think the T1 is, is best when Faker is like playmaking. Alright, game number two, I'm down. Chovy, don't come close to Faker. Yeah, true. He's much better than Faker right now, individually. And has been for a while now, bro. Like, outside of like very few moments, like maybe like outside of very specific moments in time, Chovy has essentially just been better than Faker since he entered the league. And that's just facts, bro. Just appreciate the fact that Chovy is insane, please. He in better form than Knight? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, I would say Chovy's just the best player in the world right now. That's what I would say from watching. Okay. TF ban Zeri ban by T1. They have to ban Zeri because they can't play it. This should be a Varus ban, I think, from Genji. I don't think you leave Varus up, bro. Talisha is up. Ooh, Varus is up for Guma. I think that's pretty bad from Genji. I feel like that is by far Guma's best champ, but they take the Kalista over it. I'm surprised. I mean, Kalista is higher prio for sure, but I feel like for T1, they play they play Varus so well. I mean, the reason why they high prio Kalista is because then Karia can play a lot of the weird stuff like Nico. Do you take Azir or do you take Talia? Like, what do you take here? 
I mean, it'll probably just be Carry and Nico, right? Like, I feel like he just needs to play something weird. Hey, Varus Rel? Surely it's just Nico, right? Yeah, it is like playing Nico. Makes sense. Now, the question is do they take jungle or do they take Azir or Talia? Looking to me like a Talisha game from Chovy. Based off what he's playing into. Dom, answer me, please. You can win worlds with DRX roster and FPX, but Chovy with, with four star players can't. How the fuck is that possible if he is the best player? Okay, well, here, let, let's let's explain a, a couple things to you. The four star players that are playing with Chovy right now have not... Number one, I wouldn't even consider Pays a star player, but whatever, let's just go with your premise. This team has existed for only three months this year, friend. So, because he hasn't been able to play internationals with this team, your premise doesn't make sense. He hasn't been able to go to Worlds. He hasn't been able to go to, to MSI. Most of the time when he's been going to these tournaments, he hasn't had like all-star lineups um, in people's minds. Like Doran was on his team forever and everyone bags on Doran literally perma. Like Peanut was not a player that had this like this insanely high peak performance when he went to international tournaments. Like he would kind of disappear. It's kind of considered like a fraud internationally as well. Um, Last year, it was like essentially a rookie bot lane. I know Delight played with Bro, but it's essentially a rookie bot lane. So if you look at like the teams that he has, he just doesn't have like these teams that are supposed to be winning worlds. Like people didn't even think that Genji was going to be the best in LCK. Like I think I think most people had them around fourth. I think I had them around fourth um, coming into LCK last year after losing Ruler. I just didn't think they would be as good and they ended up winning like... I mean, he just doesn't have consistent star lineups. And then also, it's like sometimes teams get hot at the right time or they have a really good meta read and they end up winning Worlds. Like, Worlds is not... Worlds is nowhere close to as important to me as it is to, like, everyone else, I think. Like, I don't need Chovy to win Worlds to call him the best player in the world. Like, I don't know why everyone else does. Okay. Sandy support. I like the draft from T1. I think T1 wins this game. Based off draft. Thought it should have been a Talia pick from Chovy. I mean, Rumble and Jace are both banned. I mean, it's probably just Rek'Sai here. Yeah, there's the Rek'Sai. The Rek'Sai makes sense. I mean, if T1 don't win this game, then they're just getting 3-0'd. Because I feel like this is like the one of the best draft advantages they're going to get. Is that Faker's parents? Who is that? <laughs> is that Faker's family?
그래서 양팀 다 MSI 진출을 확정 지었지만 또이 LCK 우승 지금 욕심 너무 많이 나거든요 진짜 <웃음> 그렇습니다 양팀 준비됐습니다 가겠습니다 두 번째 세트입니다 보시죠 Chovy would have four world wins. You, you would, dude, I'm not like a huge, like insane fan of Chovy or something. I don't know what, try, what type of narrative you're trying to like push. That's like, because I'm a fan of like Chovy, I'm saying that like, I think worlds matters. Like I think worlds matters the most, but it matters way more to like almost everyone else than it does to me. Like people make it seem like pretty much the way that most people make it seem is they're like LCK split one is valued at a one LCK split two is valued at a at like a uh, a two maybe MSI is valued at like a two or a three and then worlds is valued at a ten that's how people view it we're like I actually care about like who wins LCK and how they play in LCK and I care about MSI I mean I spend so much fucking time watching it like I don't know it would suck to just not care about the results of like Chovy domestically Oh, lol. Lol, cheeky. Aesol love taps. Oh. Okay, Chovy playing the matchup. Got both pots already. I mean, literally, like, the reason Rek'Sai is in the game is because it just completely owns things like Kasante. Wait, Zeus is, I was unbeaten on Kasante? The entire year, it's kind of cracked. It's not bad for Lehens to walk up and take that, by the way. Oh, so close. Dude, Chovy is just owning him in this lane. He's unironically cooking that fraud, yes. He's merciful, bro. He let Faker base. Oh. Chovy just warded here. Zen is behind him. He doesn't know. He's gonna lose. He's might. He oh, okay. Never mind. The thing is, owner owner didn't realize that that he could potentially be unseen. He gave Chovy too much respect here. He could have potentially blown his flash. Oh, Guma is maybe dead. Oh my god, wait, did he did he hit that stun? What the fuck did I just watch, by the way? Wait a second. Was that just absolutely disgusting, or am I trolling? Oh, good. He's gonna get flash here. Wait, is that guy just dead? Karius is dead? Uh, he has the flash. Pretty sure. Next Q into W. Oh my god, Canyon just griefed it. How much HP does he have? He's got to be super fucking low. He's like 100 HP. 
Okay, grubs. Dude, I didn't even see the stun like before the cleanse. Like it looked like it didn't even hit. Let me see. Oh, look again. The cleanse was instant, but hold on, let me see. Oh, he did actually hit it. It does literally zero damage. Holy fuck. Yeah, and then he just got turbo one shot and gave first blood. Yeah, definitely carrier should have lost flash there. Kenny kind of misplayed. Seems pretty hard to play. I mean, Carrie is just a different player when he's playing like fun things <laughs> compared to boring things, I guess. That's how I view it. Like, he wants to be playing Nico, he wants to play with Farm and like playing with Aseta, where he's actually the carry he wants to play. It's like yeah, it's just random shit, man. He wants to be playing like Ash. Bard. Keen's got really good tunnels here. Allows him to like trade unburrowed, and then if he gets ulted, he just takes one of his tunnels. Chovy needs to base. Because Chovy needs to base, they probably lose Drake here. But I think they're they're planning on losing first Drake anyway. They're playing versus Kalista. Chovy fake recalls and cheats away here. This is so smart. Really good. Because he knows like the situation, right? Like they're going to contest. Is that really good stacks? 67 stacks at seven minutes? I feel like that's higher than I saw last time. <laughs> All right. Nice dive. Easy dive. Good play from T1. Bro, I'll, I'll be honest, every time I see any support, I feel like this shit is fucking useless, but maybe I'm just not seeing what the angle is. Like, is it actually that much better to go Annie in lane for the shield than to, like, just go a fucking Rakan? This thing is 100% ass. I just don't know why it's getting picked again. Like, who played it? Was it Crisp that played it? Somebody played it recently and it just fucking blew my mind how useless it was. Keen digging Zeus down. I mean, it's just a hard matchup for Cassante. You pick Cassante pretty much to scale and be broken later on, but the laning phase of Cassante is pretty bad. <laughs> like, they've just nerfed Cassante enough that the laning phase is no longer giga insane, and then Rek'Sai's laning phase is just really stupidly broken. I'd say Chovy is the best mid in the world. I'd say Chovy is the best player in the world. That's what I would say. I would stand on that. I don't care if he loses this. I don't care if he loses MSI. He is just the best player in the world. Yeah. 
Jesus. He has no cleanse, bro. If that hits, it might be curtains. Fucking greedy from, from Keen. He's playing the dangerous game like Wonder, man. Knight's Vow completed. Wait, he put the Knight's Vow on to uh, Chovy, right? That's the Rex I tech. So be four grubs for him. Think they can test the strike, no? Ready, yeah, Chovy has big old for it. Now nah, they're definitely gonna contest this Drake. Right? You have Annie of Rel on one item. Like you have Asol on one item. You have Big Old. The only person that's weaker is the Varus, but. I mean, also, like, Nico is, is going to be strong here, but I, I still think that you want to fight if you're Genji. Or, you, like, you don't even need to commit to a fight. You just don't give it to them for free. Big? Chovy kills him with, uh, oh, eh, owner got Chovy, owner got Chovy. Keen dove really deep for this kill too. He has no E? Oh, he does have E. Oh, good old from Zeus. Damn, bro, nobody could peel for him. Pace was in Narnia the whole fight. Damn, they got Faker, but it didn't matter. The Comet ended up killing, that was crazy. Okay, he can play the game, I think. <laughs> yeah, you can play the game for sure. Oh, Faker was going to look for like ult there. It's a really good W from owner. I mean, Chovy could have just kept on running after Canyon stun because Canyon was going to WR him. But Chovy kind of like tried to run to his team here. 
보여주긴 했습니다만 못 버티죠. 네 명이 때려버리니까요. 그런데 또 제우스가 바로 공격 대상이 됩니다. Drake is really nice for um for T1 though. 그 T1이 위에서 전령은 먹었고요. 사실 애니가 조금은 성장 구도가 무너진 느낌이어서 시야 싸움이 어려울 수 있었는데. Dude, I swear, man. Jovi is so like so perfect, you know. KDA 이상 뭐 말씀처럼 젠지의 캐년이 제일 좋습니다. 201입니다. 현재까지는요. 그리고 구마유 씨는 킬 포인트가 계속 늘어나고 있습니다. Like Knight is also really good and Knight is probably more aggressive than Chovy, but he definitely griefs it sometimes. I feel like Chovy just never really griefs it. Wow, look at the trades. Look at how they changed now. 한리가 낮은 각을 힘을 쓰기는 당연히 쉽지 않거든요. 예. 그렇기 때문에 스노우볼에 좀더 특화된 채 픽인데다가 상황도 그래서 용 스택도 스택이고 메이킹도 이왕이면 하면서도 딜도 잘 꽂아야 되고 건성기 타임 그리고 또 다시 한번 This looks kind of scary, bro. Just take the turret, no? The ghost? He isn't, they're giving him no angle to ult. Damn. They're overloading the side. I mean, they're losing out on bot. They're going to TB behind. Oh, wait, never mind. They're not. I thought Keen was going to TB behind and they were going to send multiple people. Because they could potentially make something happen, bot. I don't think that they should be able to just leave here for free. Owner's dead, owner's dead, owner's dead. You should not have tried to, to drive Harold there. Nah, this is this is grief if T1 trying to turn this into a fight. Faker should just leave. This turret is fake. Oh. Carry ult? Does it matter? I don't know if it matters. Carry is dead? Bro. Fager's, Fager's in trouble. TV? Okay, good wall. All right, it's a pretty big win, I would say, for Gen.G. Even though they did lose that tier two, like, a bunch of people got fucking insane amounts of gold here, man. I mean, it just mainly Chovy just got insane amounts of gold. This champion does so much fucking damage, bro. T1, I, I don't think they should have turned this into a fight. I think it was kind of crazy. I mean, what were the results? It ended up being, what, two for two, I guess? Or no, no, two for one, right? Didn't everyone else live? Let's see this. Annie died, but Keen lived, right? Straight up two for one. But it's three for one cross map, two turrets for one turret. I guess it's okay. I'm just worried about funneling that much gold into Aurelian Soul generally. This champion seems to just scale through the fucking roof. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't hit it. Rek'Sai needs to chill, bro. Keen is controlling here. Yeah, Keen kind of griefed. Had to flash. Karia has no flash and there's no um, Callista ult. No Nico ult for this Drake. Oh, Guma gets chunked by Pays. That's actually pretty big. I think T1 needs to give it. I think T1 actually should give it. No Callisto, um, no Nicole. I think it's just too much. I think their comp just needs that. Chovy's also so strong right now. Bro, what the fuck? They thought it was real. <laughs> oh, man. They used Timbers on the fucking clone. Hell no. At least they didn't like flash on it and shit. It's good cross map from T1. At least they realized like early. So they're they're getting better throughout the series. Like last game, they weren't able to do this. They didn't realize when they could not fight something and they just showed up. Oh, nice. Oh, snap. This is just happening perma today. 
Normally it doesn't happen. It happens like once a stream. Now it's just happening perma. Yeah. Just close this. <laughs> Close YouTube chat. Nope. Can't ignore them, bro. Utrovia is so strong. Holy fuck. Yeah. Part about this. Kills this. I did it before. I didn't do anything. Who yeah. cares? I read YouTube chat. Yeah. Just turning this into a fight. They're first on the play. Chovy stopped there. Alt, really good. Pays is dead. They caught Pays on the side, but I don't know. They used uh, Gumiushi's ult for it. I think it's okay. All about Chovy here. Chovy's actually going to get one shot. Big, 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 big. This is game winning for T1. Good angle, good angle. Nice play from Karia. They get uh, Baron off this. Yeah, Pace just got caught when they were making the play. Should be able to zone him. Let's have Zeus go over. Did he try? Probably shouldn't try. I think he just dies for free. Holy Faker ended up getting it. <laughs> Jesus. All right, big, big, big. Are you saying you didn't see the carry hype too? Oh, yeah, this split, I think carry has been like way. I think he's been the worst player on the team. I think he's super limiting. Like, he can only play like weird champs. Like, his, his standard champs, like his Rakan, his Nautilus, are just not good. But I said that, th that, like, this game, like, he normally plays well on Nico. Like, that's, that's what he does well. Bro. The fuck just happened there? Good poke. Chovy has so many stacks, bro. His E is actually like the entire fucking game. His E is just the entire map, bro. Nice. Potentially get on to Faker here, though. They're giving mid turret to keep position here. They have to be careful, bro. They can't. They can't continue. They have to like actually start the Drake then, because they're gonna lose everything mid. Carrier has no flash here. Hey, T one's coming to contest it now. Dude, Faker's just, uh, like, I don't know. He's got a... It's hard for him to play. At least he's not taking poke. Okay. 
See if Chovy just puts his E down right when it gets close to the smite. Oh, didn't get anything from the carry ult. It's not good. They get Drake, but I mean, they should be very scared of this fight. This fight is looking really, really bad for T1. Owner's probably dead too, no? Yeah, owner's dead too. Bro, look at the suck from Chovy. All right, I mean, they end up getting Drake, so they're on soul point. They're going to lose mid turret for this, though. Four kills as well. I don't know. Chovy is just nine kills, bro. Just killing everyone. They probably will end up losing bot. If Zeus doesn't want to TP, they might. I mean, uh, maybe, maybe they won't lose bot. Bot's really low, though. Wait, why is why is there why are there objective bounties? Wait, can somebody tell me why there's objective bounties in this game right now? Anyone want to tell me? Bro, how is Genji getting objective bounties, man? What the fuck? There's objective bounties. They're down 2k. And two drakes and they're getting objective bounties. All 2.7k, but like still, bro, that seems crazy to me. But bro, I like, I don't know. I feel like objective bounties are just so weird. You, you have objective bounties in this state. Sometimes you have objective bounties in situations where like the team is like even. I mean, I would say at this point, the game is like pretty even, maybe like slightly favored to T1. When you consider like the scaling of Aurelian Soul and the items Aurelian Soul has, where the gold is concentrated, I wouldn't look at this game and be like, yeah, it's it's tough, bro. Genji needs some comeback mechanics in order to win. Chovy just wants stacks. He wants Stardust. Is Horizon focus good on Asol? I don't know, man. I'm not a huge fan of it, but like... It, like, Asol doesn't have like the most nuts AP scaling, so a lot of times people just build like Zhonya's here. And this, in this spot after Void. It's Chovy Faker's dad. Yeah, I mean, Chovy beats Faker pretty much every time they play. Like, go go through the last, like, two years. Chovy just always outperforms him. Even at Worlds, Chovy outperformed him. And that was with Peanut inting his lane. Like, I would say Chovy outperformed given the circumstances of the game. Like, he was down CS, but that, that was because Peanut ran into his lane level 4 and just hard inted with Kha'Zix. And then Chovy was just useful later on. To be honest, Faker played better game one. I don't know, bro. I don't. I don't think so. Like Faker had a huge highlight play, but I don't think he played like the game better. Like, and then Chovy wasn't even a part of that. I would say Chovy played the game like extremely well in game one. He made almost no mistakes. You get Stardust from you do get star do you get Stardust from the clone? It looks like you do. <coughs> <coughs> they were gonna go on Guma there, but Guma's uh, Edge of Night had just came back up. Faker onto Pays. Okay, Pays is dead. Are they going to lose this anyway? Are they going to lose it anyway? No way, right? Bro, Chovy is drifting on him. Oh my god, look at the E. Bro, look at that E. The E is one-shotting everyone. Enemy team has a... Uh, 
Wait, wait, Genji needs the base, bro. I don't think Genji should stay for the Drake. If they stay for the Drake, they should lose Baron. They'll have no tempo. This is this is bad from uh, Genji, I think. I guess Chovy has no... Yeah, it's gone, it's gone. They lose Baron, I think. They lose Baron. It was Baron, they should just make sure they get Drake. I mean, I guess they were kind of in a fucked situation. I don't know what T1 is doing trying to fight this, though. T1 is really trolling trying to fight this Raptor camp, I think. Oh, wait, never mind. Chovy got caught. Holy, wait. I think they were giga trolling there. But Chovy actually just got caught. Oh, no. I think what Genji needed to do is they needed to insta base and then actually just play the game again mid. Play the game around mid. With Chovy dead, I mean, maybe they can end even. No one else is strong. They can probably just end, bro. They can probably just end. I think they should play for it. Like, who else is going to do damage here? Mm, Pace is okay here. They have wave clear, it looks like. Ah, I don't know, bro. This wave, I mean, there's, there's 14 seconds for Chovy. Canyon is just going to try to stall the end. Lehens is so useless, bro. I swear this champion is fucking piss. Chovy's up now. It's over, it's over, it's over. Dude, they killed Chovy one time and just ended the game. Holy fuck, that looked so hard. Got on to Chovy and knocked him up with Q3, yeah. It was good, it was good. Like, that was a really risky fight that they were taking around Raptors because um, Genji members were coming from base. So if the fight extended, it could have been Genji favored and they hadn't based yet after Baron. They actually hadn't based from before Baron here. Let me see. Let's look at some of this, because this is actually hype. So here, the initial play, Chovy wants to go on Guma, but Guma gets his edge of night back during it. So Chovy wants to fly and like ult and just get Guma's flash. Like he would drop E, drop ult, everything, and just pretty much one shot Guma and get his flash. Like, or just chunk him super hard, right? Like Keen would just go as well. They would just open with like Chovy's ult, Keen is coming over the wall. Like they could go on Guma here, but he gets his edge of night back. So like their engage is kind of stifled. Then here they don't have like everything warded. Their flanks are not completely warded. They have a ward down here. They have a ward up here. But Fager is actually able to sneak around. Did Pays not see him coming? No, he, nah, patient, no. Fager literally walked into this bush and dropped a pink ward. Like as soon as they know a pink ward, as soon as they see a pink ward come down, they know someone's there, right? No, I mean, Vager literally shows on the ward too before he drops the pink. I mean, Pays is literally just completely unaware. Yeah, he just didn't notice. Yeah, that was completely on vision. And then he doesn't ult here. Like, also, he should just. Well, oh, he does actually ult. Never mind. But still.
I mean, they ended up trading ADs. It didn't even look like that catastrophic, to be honest. Bro, how useless is Annie, though? So this is smart by owner not basing. Smart of owner not to base here. So this play. Wait, what's happening here? Where's Chobi's Q? It looked like he was CC'd. But he's not CC'd, and I guess his animation is not going off. Yeah, I guess it's kind of grief. Yeah, nice from owner. Actually, I think it is actually a good play. I mean, the thing about this is like, the only reason I didn't like this is because what I think that T1 wants to do is I think that that owner probably wants to base at some point, but I guess he doesn't need to. He's actually full life. Damn, that's crazy. He left the fight. He left the fight at this HP and this mana. And then he just does two camps and he's full life. I mean, he does bury it as well and he's just full life. Nice. I guess he doesn't need to base actually. No, never mind. This is this is good. Cause I was like, man, owner has not based for a long ass time. But I guess it just doesn't matter. Bro, redemption any support. Like it's gotta be. League soon look world skins and remind you when Chovy get one, but that won't never happen. <laughs> Laughing my ass off, do you lack the common sense that not everyone in the world has English as the first language? He thinks the comment is stupid because of the English, not because of the concept of like, of like, oh, if you think Chovy is, is the best player in the world, just look at the world skin. Like I'm going to go into the client, look at the world skins and then be like, wait a second. Chovy didn't win worlds last year. He can't be the best player in the world right now. He's just dog shit. And that's going to be the thing that, that like revolutionizes my opinion on fucking Chovy's gameplay and the fact that he is just bad. Respond with this. Oh, you think players won't have fans and haters like you? I mean, the thing is like, I'm way more honest about T1 than any of the T1 fans are. I am way more honest about T1. Like, obviously, I do hater persona shit where I'm just like, like at the end, like where I'm like, disband the team. Obviously, I don't think they should disband the team. If you have two IQ, two, two brain cells and more than two IQ points, you'll be able to determine when I'm actually giving my opinion on the team and how they're playing. And when I'm giving, when I'm just saying bullshit, like disband the team, like obviously the disband the team is, is, is a joke. You wouldn't disband the team because you lost one match. You probably like replace a player if anything the point is that when i see most of like the discourse i feel like like t1 fans are completely illogical about like other players and their own team 
Oh shit. Wait, who is that? Is that Tom? Wait, who is that? Actually, don't know who that is. Wait, I feel like I should know who that is. Oh, is that Blank? Wait. wait, that is wait. Blank looks way different now, bro. How did he used to look? Okay. I didn't even know it was the same person, bro. Yeah, camera perspective is awful, bro. No, he, he probably looks looks heavier in the camera than he actually is because, like, dude, the, the under angles, bro, that's just, like, the worst angle for somebody. Unless you've got, like, Giga Chad jawline, you're, like, fucking 8% body fat. Like, when you go the fucking... The, the double chin angle, it's garbage. Always like Koma, bro. Always, uh, always respected Koma. You know, I competed in a tournament that Koma was, I believe, like, he was, he was, like, in. But then I think he changed, he, like, changed his role before I actually got there. He was on Startail. He was a jungler for Startail, but I think right after I got to Korea, he changed his role. Oh, nice. It happened again. Excellent. Are they only showing T1 content? Is that the K team stream T1 buys? I mean, it, they, yeah, I mean, obviously most people that watch are T1 fans, so they're going to put more T1 stuff. That's how it goes. ジェイウィスコットの。これ、ワイドでポストしてるんですけど、これはオンザサブレットでトワイスプロ。オッケー、ウィソーダス。this game was played so well by Genji though. Second game, not as much. I think that Genji needs to opt into more of that style of play though, the style of play from game one more um yeah more macro based gameplay and not try to challenge t1 and just pure fighting it's when t1's the most comfortable like once baron is up t1 is better at macro because i feel like they understand like when they can actually kill nash and they they just pull it and will do it more than most teams but yeah before like pre 20 minutes i feel like t1 macro they're kind of lost like they just want to lane get ahead in lanes and then show up to drakes and fight drakes that's pretty much where it ends for them but why did pays even walk there though like what pays is like walking 
He's what? Oh my god, he tried to cancel Zeus TP. That doesn't even matter, bro. Like, he should know that this TP cancel doesn't do anything, man. Smart by Guma to walk in front, though, and block it. I didn't even see that, see that because we didn't get the angle. We just got the angle of him getting caught. Will it cancel? Yeah, it will cancel. This pays a fraud? I mean, I don't know, man. Like, he's definitely not as good as Korean casters think he is. For some reason, Korean casters think he's the best. Where I think he's like, I think he's probably even the fourth best, bro. I think aiming might be better than him, I'm gonna be honest. But I think at least Guma and Viper are like pretty much indisputably better than him. I don't know what his like redeeming quality is that people really see. I actually would love to like have a conversation about it with like Korean casters. If I could communicate with them. And discuss like wh what they think that he has over the other players in terms of like individual skill. Because I think sometimes like there's arguments that people use where they're like, oh, but like this player is really good for the team because he enables that like the ghost argument, right? Like this guy plays weak side super well. But I don't even think that like Pace plays weak side that well. I actually think he has like almost no advantages over Viper or Guma. Grand Final Sprint Split Grand Final. Alright, we got a series. Okay, so Genji on blue side. Varus ban on blue side. They're going to first pick Kalista if it's up. They'll give Faker Azir again. Okay, Kalista is down. Do they first pick Azir now? Varus is down, Kalista is down. That seems to be the prio. 
right now. I think you probably first pick Azir. First Azir game for Chovy of the series. I, I agree with this. And I think you try to go for some type of like Nautilus lane. Like if Karrion and Zeus want to play Lucian Nami, I think you look for a Nautilus angle. Actually, knowing them, they're probably going to look for Zeri, no? They probably actually look for like Zeri Lulu. Since it is Gen G. Oh, they're going to go Aphilius Lulu instead? They will go Lulu, right? They could, they could technically go Nautilus. Yeah, I mean, that's a Lehen special, right? Makes sense. Nami on three, guaranteed. Okay. Rumble ban, it'll be Jace ban as well. Um, Gen G will probably ban... Okay, so they're going to look to pick, like, a Rek'Sai or something. Yeah, so there's the Jace, the Vayne ban. What else do they want to ban from Zeus? Is there anything, like, really special? Maybe they ban Aatrox? Because, I mean, they're looking for a Rex angle. They could also ban Cassante. Like, I don't even know if Zeus would play Rek'Sai, you know? I feel like that's the problem with, with Zeus's champion pools. He kind of needs to be on, like, specific champions. Like, hard counters and things, but lots of the hard counters are banned. So they ban Cassante, and they're baiting Zeus right now to pick Rek'Sai, because they don't think he'll do it. So what I think Genji is going to pick here is probably like Sejuani Rek'Sai for like insane frontline and some engage. Okay, so they lock in what I say, and then on T1 side, I wonder if they just go like Aatrox into it. Oh, the Zac, the Zac, yeah, Zac makes sense. I should have called that one too. I should have called almost the entire draft. I mean, the thing is, Zac is not that good into these types of champs, I don't think. It's like not great into Azir, if the Azir is not Zika. And Lulu also kind of could counter it with ult. Genji better draft? Mm, I mean, I don't know if it's Genji better draft here. Like, I think that Genji has a draft that suits them really well. And I mean, I'm not sure, like, how, how has T1 been with Lucian Nami this split? I don't have many memories of it for its, like, good teams. Let me see. Guma Yushi. Let's see. When was the last time they played it versus good teams? They played it versus DRX. Played it versus... I mean, they lost two games versus Genji with it last time they played. Got stomped both of them. I mean, they have good win rate on uh, Lucian. I mean, they, yeah, I mean, they do have good win rate on Lucian, but like, not many performances versus good teams. Like, they have, you know, two wins versus KDF. Uh, they won a game versus uh, KT, DRX. More DRX wins. OK, Breon. Won a couple games with D+. I don't know, man. I'm like I think that Guma is is best on things like Caitlyn, bro. I want to see more like bully lanes from Guma. Okay. 
어떻게 뚫고 나갈지가 좀 다시 궁금한 것 같아요. 그렇죠. 한타에 있어서 굉장히 중요한 부분 말씀해 주신 건데 또 메이킹을 해야 되는 게 웬만하면 자크의 점프로 시작되는 경우가 많으니까요. 물론입니다. 근데 자크가 그 활약하고 활약하지 못하는 데 있어서 그 세총 발사가 캔슬되는 게 진짜. Yeah, Chovy is playing his grasp. He's playing. He's playing engage. Azir. I mean, the thing is, like, Pays actually has to perform in this one. See how he does. Series has been exciting, bro. It's been a good series. Good spacing from Pays there. Space the uh, Nami heal. 결국에 이 리그 오브 레전드란 게임이 중간 중간 슈퍼 플레이에 열광하게 되고 에이스에 환호하게 되지만 그럼에도 정말 고수들 간에 매치면 매치일수록 또 근본적으로 약점이 안 드러나는 게 굉장히 중요한 게임. Oh my god, Chovy just walks around it, bro, and perfect CS is it? It's crazy, man. 굉장히 핵심이 될 때가 많아요. 일단 한 패치가 확 나기 때문에 그거를 채우기 위해서. Guma is like really low mana though. He has biscuits and stuff, but like he is, he does not have much mana. I mean, he just spammed W and barely got anything for it. And then on weapon switch, it feels like it'll be good for Genji. Oh shit, Yamato wanted to sack from game three onwards. All right, I'm joining. Yo. <laughs> Hello, who's there? Uh, me. Marcus. Yes. Hello, Marcus. Marcus. How you doing, Marcus? I'm doing good, bro. What do you think about this draft? I, I like I like T1's draft here. Yeah. How about you? I feel like Genji is really good at the draft they picked. So that's fair. Yeah. I like it for them. Can't disagree there. Finally, we have a human bot lane matchup. Like, fucking the. F Can I join the stack? Of course, Cranny, come, man. Yeah. You're honorary already, man. Oh, uh, Canyon might have to flash here. Uh, hello. Yo, hello, yo, yo. Crowny. Hello. Which draft do you guys like? I think I like Genji. Kind of. I like Genji. Yamato likes T1. Oh, really? Yeah, I like T1. This is the draft, oh my buddy. god, he got murdered. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, Damn. Shit. Holy shit. I thought Catherine got away with murder in the first place and then he re-invited that. Yep. Yeah, he could have just queued the wall. He He's chose really to die. By, by pace, but, um, also, their state is really good. Look at Gumayus's mana, you know? Yeah. He's completely um while Pace is full HP. Oh, movement. Yeah, okay. <laughs> with Doran's blade, which means like Gumayusi used two potions and full mana bar before Pace used one pot, pretty much. Yep. It's crazy. I but, uh, Honor kind of Lulu, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, Honor bails them out here, but I think Aphelios can insta clear this. And, yeah, and yeah, nice. push the next one for sure. Or push next, yeah. Uh, maybe it's canon, I'm not sure. So, looks like he's gonna push next. Yeah, yeah next one. Oh, so next one is, really is normal, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not canon, so you just fast. I mean, this is like... Aphelios is gonna be level 5 now, while well, Zin, like, shared uh, so much XP on both. Yep. So. And they get Void Grubs. I mean, the early trades in lane, bro, like, that just didn't look like how it's... how you would think it would look. They're just using, like, Nami W and uh, Lucian W perma. Wait, what's happening here, bro? Is he gonna have to flash? He probably has to Q carry and then ult. Is he not? Okay. Uh, he's dead, no? Yeah, he's dead oh. as hell. Well, what the fuck is he doing there? I, he I just didn't proxied and recalled. He just didn't think Karia would roam. Yeah, it was it was a good roam. My time is rough. Yeah, but I mean, he should just base in the bush if anything. Like, he's just greeting for a tempo that doesn't even exist. Okay, it's, it's true. Okay, just, I guess. I remember um, 2022 Worlds, we are playing 2v2s against Lehens, a ruler. 
on the hill like Lulu, Lens, right? Lens, how he lands with Lulu is unbelievable. Yeah, everyone says this. <laughs> now, Guma kind of suffered for this a little bit, though. Like, tiny yeah. suffering. Yeah, he did, but uh, he's still catching HP and not using too much mana, so it's like not the yeah. end of the world. I lost <clears> some <throat> HP, though. I guess it doesn't matter too much with Nami. It's just like... Now, like, Aphelia just wins. Because he still has barrier, and they don't have ignite even. So it's like, he can kind of play however he wants. <laughs> Bro, I feel, like Cleanse is like, too. I feel like Cleanse is like not even that good in this game for Guma. Like, I don't even know why he has it, just for Sejuani, I guess. But I feel like that's... Is Sejuani actually just that OP? Nah, I think he's pretty nice. Bro, I don't like that Canyon actually did golems. Because it didn't move him to level 6. He could have been here earlier. Yeah. Yeah, this is very good for um, Genji. Conclusion is gonna slowly bleed. Yes. <clears throat> but Lulu is oomb actually. Just completely oomb though. Yeah. How is he oomb? Uh, Canyon. This is a bit scary for. Yeah, he can't do drag. Oh, I think they did become good because he did golems. <laughs> like I think if he goes yeah, try yeah, yeah. and he protect that pink. I think that it, everything changes. You have to be faster, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like like you don't even want the Drake timing here anyway. Even if you have the yeah. mid push here, like it's like your bot doesn't want to like fast, pu like can't even fast push that easy without like blue gun, and then your mid wants to base so bad. I mean, I, I also think like Ocean takes a long time to like. By the time your bot lane moves to help, it's like so long, and if the Lucian gets a base for it, it's not even a worth Drake, you know. I I, I think he should have done camps, or he's gonna invade. Okay. Yeah, I think so too. Like, I don't like doing ocean, I don't... Oh, I was thinking this outcome passing. is worse than the other way. Yeah, I mean, for, for sure, but I think maybe the best is just to... Yeah, just farm your camps. Just farm your camps and don't even, like, hurt, yeah. Just be selfish and get six and then you can stay. Because then I still think you should skip golems and you should base on the pink. Like, this, you should, like this pink oh, yeah. holds yeah, everything yeah, for together. For sure. You just go top set into bot and then do golems on the next time and then just play with his bot. No, I guess there. I mean, is T1 winning the early games? T1 I didn't watch the first game. Uh, in the first game, no. I mean, Genji just like completely oh, out macro them. It was complete. It was so disgusting. They, they were losing bot, but they picked Poppy support into into Kalista now. To, like, but he's been playing so many I don't know. Like they play Poppy in the one game. They play Annie. Like this is a fucking goofball. <laughs> I mean, Car Carrier just can't play normal champs. Like he's like probably the worst Rakan left. Or like he was. He was He's he's pretty bad at Rakan, he can't really play Nautilus, like I, I for sure he legit just forgot how, how it like how the game feels when you play those champs compared to stuff where you have like total control over lane and for sure yeah, yeah. it has to be that. <laughs> but like he had Draven, like he could have he could have like gone goofy, you know, he could have picked Rumble and just yeah, yeah. say, Oh I mean, let's try to win the lane and see what's up. I, I think so, yeah. yeah. Man, I swear, okay. I feel like Talia every game it's so broken. Like I don't know, I feel like this champ is like. Indeed, yeah. I was surprised it wasn't locked the previous game when. It's always like, so impactful. Uh, yeah, it's always so impactful. I feel like. Yep. Vi was open too. <clears throat> oh, they're doing grub swap here. <laughs> Did you see the fellow's guns? What is he? Uh, uh, white green, I think. Okay. I'm not sure. Bro, he doesn't have Shiv because he won uh yeah, he went Dort. Dort. And no, I, and he also bought a fucking long sword. No, he just bought that right now. Yeah, but But he's going he's but, gonna he's gonna go Shiv into Kraken. Yeah, but I feel like that's so bad, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean I don't even like, understand why you go Shiv this game. Like, can't you just go Kraken or do you I really mean, need Shiv? I would just go Kraken. I mean no, like I mean they go Shiv too much, but his Shiv is gonna be late compared to Lucian anyway. So it's like Oh he got six. Kind of big. They can hit top tower now. Like my point is, I don't think the free fifth like ten AD is gonna change the game now. Like just yeah. buy boots or don't buy anything. Okay. That's good. Ali, root. Ooh, that's good Clean. combo by Felius. Is that though? Yeah. But it's fine. He's gonna give it to Gumayashi. That's good. I think it's plating as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, they've got I six grabs. It's really good for tempo. Kanye should have walked back into the tower a bit, you know, to try to die to Nami, but I guess it's yeah. Okay. Bro, I think Chovy's been so crispy in this series, man. He's not like, like, he's like, he's very unfair. Like... This guy is like, yeah, he's, 
He's really unfair, this player. <laughs> this guy's like something else, but... Yeah. Uh, this, this playoffs has been... He has surpassed himself somehow, this playoffs, I feel like. Yeah. But the funniest to me is like, many times his jungler's in his lane, but it seems to like not affect... Like yeah, yeah, no, no, much, dude, know? this guy, like, he's just used to playing with, like, inting jungler. Like, the thing is, like, <laughs> I feel like his mental is so good. Like, he plays with yeah, Peanut, yeah, bro, yeah. and he just, he made Peanut the best version of Peanut. Yeah, no, he's, he's... Brother played with Willer. Yeah, man, he played with Willer. I don't Holy know fuck, played. bro, Willer. Didn't he play with Arthur a little bit, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my Yo, God. Sheik. Like, Kenny should walk back, because the, the the wave hit him, so it's gonna go to Nami anyway, you know? Yeah. But uh, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I, I mean, Nami getting, getting mandate, mandate yes. is like, kind of, is that even worse than the Lucian getting it? Uh, I mean, yeah, Lucian gets canon, you know, but I guess, I guess it's kind of equal, yeah, you know, right? No flash on Lulu here. Walking through. Oh, Shiva on Nefelius looks so goofy. Yeah. Oh, the Rexa build of Oscarine yesterday seemed to do work, but I don't know how much it makes sense. I know too little about matchups like this. He went like execution into. Um... Yeah, Titanic. Faker has no flash. Faker has no flash right here. What is this? I mean, I guess they have Lulu ult. But I feel like Sejuani engages like this on mid wave are all like are never gonna work. When yeah, yeah. Your are I mean, you're going on the guy that has cleanse, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like, even if it's on carry, it's like two screens away from anyone. I feel like it's better to just wait for Drake spawn. Yeah. Oh, he's not taking yeah, the demolish every... proc there? Okay. Every time I see the, the Sejuani have successes because they're just like trapping behind solo laners on site. I feel like you don't yeah. accomplish much by being on mid, but oh, I understand why you went through mid here, right? Like Lula's no flash and they don't need to put wards so that the Lucian can't like dash on them for free. Yeah. Oh, for sure you need to do this against Lushinami, but I don't think you need to commit to it. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. I mean, team has no ults, so they're just going to take this for free. They have uh, Chovy TP. Okay, Chovy TP. Kind of hard, bro, for Genji. I don't really like the position. The position. The position is fucked. Oh, oh, we got Guma. Oh, oh but he, he, they, they didn't get Drake yet. Zach is OP. They didn't get Drake. They didn't get Drake. Yeah, Zach is OP. The failures couldn't move for like five seconds. <laughs> yeah. Wait, he had fla didn't he have a, an option to flash or he didn't? I think maybe like half of them. I don't know. Mm, still, I mean, it's still one fight for... Wait. Okay, wait. No, the, 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 the no, thing confused me. Yeah, it was fucked. Yeah, same, same. Yeah, because it looked like it was on the other side, but yeah. I mean, uh, that's worth for T1, no? Yeah, I mean, it's it's worth for T1, but I think it's like fine for Genji as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, Genji outscales, right? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I think so. Who outscales, like Rexa or Zach? I feel like they're pretty, they both have knockups for tanky as fuck. Yeah, not much I don't know because you know it's weird, right? Because like it's, the answer should be Zach. Like that's yeah, how that's how Zach, it always yeah. worked in jungle. But I think Rexa actually outscales. Yeah, I feel like Rexa is fucking crazy with tank build on top now. Like that's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's actually crazy. Like because Rexa just can absorb so much space, and then Zach is kind of like conditional engage, and it's it's kind of like you can outplay the Zach in this game with multiple yeah. different things. Like Rex I uh, knock I up Azir ult, like Yeah. Lulu yeah. ult. And I think they have more that like they have more damage than Talia Lucian. Like Azir Azir should kill Zach faster than Opsu. I'm 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 interested. It's 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 like this Kev's like so sucks, but this is one of the rare games where it's yes, actually pretty really OP. <laughs> yes, with Zach Rex. Yeah. Zach Zinzao, like yes, Nami. Yeah. <laughs> Yumi Yushi has flash here. I mean, there's full flashes for T1. It's such a, no, a bad timing for T1 in terms of gold evolution. Yeah. Like, if he had rapid fire for this Rift Herald situation, it changes the whole game. By the way, I think yeah. that this, like, this combo from Gen G is actually, like, so hard to pull off. The, like, Rex I flash knock up with Azir drifting onto Guma, like, playing a knock up into Zero engage really on somebody that has flash is like fucking really hard by the way I mean, i'm wondering if it's called i feel like it's not called i feel like it's just no they're just that good 
I mean, I don't know if you call it. Did you say ba 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 ba? Ba 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 ba. Is that what Chovy said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, he said, ba 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 ba. Best you are fighting this. They win. Oh, Zeus is dead as fuck. All right, never mind. He's not dead as fuck. Good Nami wave. This so good for Genji. Okay, great, bro. That's flash right there from Chovy. Did you guys like the game before, right? When Pace got caught by Azir? Did yeah. you guys ever see anyone flash a zero to the side? Because everybody flashes it yeah. back, right? Well, I mean, but the worst part about that, I don't know if you... Like, I went back and I looked at it, and the like C figure here. walk yeah. into the bush and oh. put the pink ward. Yeah, 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 I saw it. Baker tried to block it, no? With the wall? Yeah. <laughs> Just too close. Yep. Yeah, the, you have to block it, I think, before the charge goes off. Or, like... A lot of, like, cool small things, you know. But this game state looks insane for Gen G, though. Like, I mean... They're gonna get cannon on Lucian, right? But Genji tempo on the map is good, so it's like it's not like Lucian will ever meaningfully dash on mid wave and get ahead their mid towers down. So it's like Genji is really hard. I need to see sums for the the third Drake. Do they have flash everything? Flash. Azir has flash. No, Access Azir, flash because those are the most important. Azir doesn't, I think. Yeah, Talia having no flash is kind like, of rough. The, like the way Talia flashed here is like how you should kind of yeah. flash it, right? But people flash it like back. Bro, I just feel like Genji have just better comp. Like it just feels hard for T1 yeah. to play. Like how do they get through the front line ever? I mean the condition is for Lucian to be really ahead, but but he's not. I yeah, I mean Lucian just I guess has to just destroy them on mid. I don't know, bro. I always like the Philios Lulu into into this. I, I, mean, feel into I, also, I also feel like this Lucian has less damage than the one before. Like, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. like Shiv RFC, it doesn't. Yeah, it's not the same as Storm Razor was. Or... Yeah, yeah. Like, at least I remember playing it last year and it felt like you were dealing way more damage. Now you're just abusing like the Giga. Um, uh, what's the uh, cheap Shiv? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Genji's the position is already yeah. damning here for T1. Yeah. yeah, now they have like full flashes again, pretty much. Is he going no flash here? on Faker, I think it's pretty huge here, too. They didn't fully yeah, sweep, though. Azir. I mean, Tank is here is also a problem, right? Because how do you kill him? Yeah. They, they have pretty low damage this game to kill him. Yeah. Nah, uh, I man, I've just I've been so impressed with Chovy, bro. Like, I've been so impressed every time I watch him. He just plays so fucking well, so consistently. I mean, you can see things like this guy has insane win rate in Sol and if you watch his replays, whatever happens in the game, this guy's. Oh, now he's just in feeding. Nice. <laughs> Dude, nah, have a fucking curse. <laughs> no, no, Faker's dead. Faker's, Faker's just hinting. Dude, he's Faker's just hinting. Faker died to tower, bro. <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess never mind. I guess it's, it ends up being okay. Okay. They TP'd, they answered. Kim we doesn't die, right? Kim doesn't die. Yeah, slash. Yeah, 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 they have Lulu ult. They have Lulu ult. Wait, can't Kim just keep chasing? Like, can't Kim just eat? Like, they have Lulu ult, they have he heals to Yeah, they, they can... Ah, uh, probably not. I mean, if I don't they think wanted to, I think I think uh, you can take too, aggressive path. Uh, yeah, I think you can chase for tempo. Yeah. Like, you know what's crazy though? Like you feel like, oh shit, they they killed Chovy. Like it matters, but then it's like he didn't even have like insane shutdown or something. Like yeah. he's just ahead because of farm and shit. Yeah, he has two items soon, and he's gonna be unkillable on free and like. Yeah. I know. Bro, it's crazy. I'm just back in America and fucking. What? Two days. Where? Oh, 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 where already? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 16, 16, right? Yeah, yeah, 16th, I leave. Hey, it was so funny watching you guys go stream yesterday. <laughs> like when Gideon says something and you're all laughing, it's so troll. Yeah, 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 no, it was, it was good, bro. We haven't had a big sack like that in a while. It was a nice fucking... Yeah, it was good. It was a good big sack. The usual suspects. Yep, the usual suspects. I, real, I realized I realized that we had like a limit. We put six people in the sack I, max. I, I I changed it from eight to dude. There was someone we had like eight, nine. It was crazy. I think eight? six like was pretty manageable. Yeah, eight is too much. Bro, I mean, it depends on who's in the sack. Like, if if Whippo or Perks is in the sack, probably got to limit it to like five or four. <laughs> There was one time, like, I don't know, we had so many people just show up, like, Abedajo was there, Closer, 
<laughs> yeah, no, we had like fucking so like, Finn showed up. It was like, what yeah, the hell, man? So many like cameo. <laughs> Cameos just left and right. Like oh, wait. Well, hands is bored. He's holding he's flash. Oh, this is not that good. Oh, Davy Wavy. Oh. Combination. I think Paige might be oh. dead too. Big, big, big. They fall without. They, they fall without. Oh. Oh. Chobi's gonna kill yeah, everyone here, kill though, people. no? Is Chobi yeah, saving the dash. game again? Yeah, yeah, he's waiting, he's oh, waiting. He's saving again. Oh, that's a big mistake by Lehman. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, <laughs> oh no, the combo. He oh, him. no. Oh. Dude, he just plays every situation so crazy. Yeah, he oh. did it. I mean, he, there's He's nothing dead. you can do. No! No, no. Lehens no. win trade. Oh, he got what? griefed, bro. Lehens just game, ran bro. the whole game down for the zero. Yeah. Yeah. They saved it and they gave it back. Yeah. They over postured. But they have to, like, fight back there because other, if the enemy can just walk into clean yep. Nash, it's worse. Bro, bro holy like, fuck. Now Faker's just insanely ahead. Holy. And the worst oh, part about this, I think, large is... Base. Chobi wants to flame the head. Right? Yeah. I mean, I think the worst <laughs> part about this for uh, Gen.G is, like, now they just don't have sums on Aphelios, too. So, like, they lost and so many sums really for this. For the game. Okay, he did. No, he can't. Oh! Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, well, wait, but you know, if Lula Aphelios sprint... Uh, I mean, fe no, I think... It's hard, fun. this version. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. I mean, Lens didn't even entertain it, bro. He just bro, put Vision backside. That's disgusting, look. That's, I don't know, he kept everything for so long too. Yeah, too. Yeah, he could have just flashed early. It's such a, it's such a useless word to take because you should take midway first and then walk with Azir. Like, you can't take vision before yep. the wave. I need to let Kenny play alone there. Like, Kenny was doing some solo mission, trying to steal red. Yeah, he had plans. Wait for your two item Azir. Like, what? It's yeah. so greedy. For no reason. And then this is so unlucky, it gets cancelled. Like, Keen cancelled the uh, Chobis. Yeah, the, 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 the knockback. Yeah, knockback. Oof. Damn. Exactly. Yeah. Much damage, I, I, I feel like they get knocked up seven times in one fight. Like it's like Bubble, Zack, E, Q, Wood. Well, <laughs> Naughty One is gonna get at least third break. Yeah. And, and they're gonna get ahead. And now, like, uh, Lucian is ahead in items, right? Look, like he has IE now. Yeah, it's crazy. Now they're like in a. Wait, oh. Probably bought Negatron Claw. Oh, he's going Abyssal? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. As Natalia yeah. got way too much gold. Like, she'll be death cap on, 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 the, on, the, on the soul. Yeah, the game just. The game will... Yeah, the game is now really hard for no reason. I mean, I feel like people made so many weird mistakes this game. Like, Keen griefed. Like, like he just died for no reason. Canyon griefed. Died 1v1. Lehens just griefed. Yeah. yeah it's just Chobi's whole team is griefing him nice. It's a call, it's like that. <laughs> He's just being perma grief for zero reason. Cool. <laughs> that game one made me hopeful. It's like, oh, Chovy, this is light work. <laughs> Never mind. Better get busy, son. Oh, they still have Nash. Yeah, they can get tier 2 and, uh, yeah, tier 2 for Drake. Uh, they have Capitalia with an army. Uh, yeah. No, it's actually just super hard. Like, because I, I think the main problem was that T1 had, like, the, 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 the rate at which everyone was gaining gold was so bad for them. Yep. And then they just, like, skipped over to the part of the game where now they're just, like, like really ahead. It would be for sure, like, even on dragons and even on golds. But now they're ahead on dragons and ahead in golds, and it's like... Now, now, Genji likes damage, because they're mid like, yeah, tanky. The King always looks so sad on cam, I feel like. Yep. Or, like, so annoyed. <laughs> It's okay, he's a fucking millionaire, bro. Yeah, that guy has been in Africa for like five years getting the highest contract in the league. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No championships, though. Yeah. Uh, apparently, if he wins today, he has gotten every possible placing in LCK. Really? Well, that's first, like, yeah. I don't think there's anyone else with that. No, that's a crazy stuff. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's actually insane, what? <laughs> <laughs>
It's fucking doing like achievements. I remember Pyrian told me in 2019 like that he was his team lost like 30 scream games in a row and he still didn't tilt or like something insane like that. He was like the best mental in Korea. Also. He just has his paycheck as a fucking background. Yeah. Like, what wiping his tears, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marks. Oh, that's good, that's oh, onto good. Faker? A smash. Face is dead, I think. Face is dead. It's Faker's alive. Faker's alive. Oh, over, over. No way. I mean, they just don't have damage. Yeah. Man, in games like this, girl force would really help on any carries. So you don't get... Uh, Zinza has looked so OP in both of these games. Yeah. But uh, if Canyon just insta-flashes on the event, does he live? Or no? Wait, this guy is pretty tanky. He has Zanyas too, no? I think he's dead. Okay, he's just dead. But his team is not there. Uh... Wait. Totally. Oh, he's oh my god, so he's so back. Well, like... he's tanking five people for like... So long. Yeah, he just got hard griefed. <laughs> like, if, if Canyon flashes insta on the way, does he live? I don't know, man. I mean, figure it still has flash. Like, it's just fucking yeah. lost. Base can't play. I mean, and Troy doesn't have fair light, like, he's like mixing items, and Pace has, doesn't have less whisper. Hmm. Uh, the so, Drake is too loud. It's, it's also so hard, like, because. When they engage like that, Pace and the hands want to help, but they can't. And but I mean, like, didn't... I mean, Chovy kind of saved them, but I guess he, like, they don't have damage to kill him no matter what. I think it's really hard. Yeah. Hey, did try his best. <laughs> it's so sad. Yep. Bro, all, it, I feel like this year it's just been like, you just watch like, Viper get griefed, then Rookie get <laughs> griefed, then Chovy get griefed. This is like all, all the players that just deserve success just get griefed on repeat. Uh, people uh, like Fotik was kind of griefing that series, not people so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because how troll was it to just see Nas? <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> Completely like, even in a lane swap, like the, fi the trap you would think is like the worst. Oh shit. Carrier just saw a ghost. a ghost. Yes! What, <laughs> what, what the fuck just <laughs> happened? <laughs> It's our premonition of the future. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> Rex are cute. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, can Lucian base for LDR? Um, uh, yeah, probably. Genji should squeeze, man. They should they, they fucking just, they should hit. Just hit, hit, man. The, just fucking hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, just hit and just try yeah, to just every man for himself, bro. Yeah, Lucian stayed, yeah. I think this is the best. Yeah. This is based, yeah, this is based. That's the best thing. They just ult and ult, right. ult is in a way and play. So we no flash. I think they get this, but Faker. Oh, Faker. They, they whoa, lose whoa, the whoa, fight. Whoa, whoa, Faker is Faker crazy, is crazy. bro. Faker is crazy. Is that Orgles? Who is that? Oh, owner's gonna get it. Oh. oh. Alright, oh. GG. Oh, shit, bro. Oh, uh, it's fucking lost. What? Oh, wait, oh, hold up. Oh, is it wait, what? Oh, what oh. the hell? Don't look at the shuriken. Oh. Alright. Oh, oh, they get soul here. Oh, fake it. This was kind of nuts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There was a lot of space grid. So. This is how you play when you have hourglass in your inventory, by the way. Like, right. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, like, the thing is, he has hourglass and he also has like 800 cell shields. So it's like, not 800, but like, he's so hard to kill, you know? Yeah, yeah. He stalls like five seconds minimum. Yeah. Canyon sucks. I mean, Canyon was pretty disappointing in the Hanwha Life series to me as well. Yeah, I don't think he's playing like to his usual level, man. No? Also, the Sidrani ult is fucking useless. Look at this uh, Talia shield, man. Like, two, he attacked two autos from Ophelios, he flashes away. Wow. But, but I really, I, I don't, I really hate Sidrani as a champ. I, I don't think the champ is that good, I don't know. They they Maybe love honest. it in uh in LCK bro. Yeah, yeah, they I, really do, yeah, yeah they do, yeah. I thought they're gonna pick Jax Rexai, but I thought they were gonna pick some Juani Rexai. I called I called their draft and I was like, you know what? Like this is just Genji, bro. This is who they are. Die. <laughs> just can't pick in the fact that look at this. Yeah, he's just <laughs> walking into them. Nice. Yeah. It's fucking Jurassic Park. 
Oh, Faker is just like in no man's oh, land now. Oh, Holy shit. Oh, oh, shit. Wait, Faker just completely <laughs> grieved, no? Yeah, he did. The Keen, Keen hiding in that spot is kind of weird. Oh, that's a big shutdown. That's a... Yeah, Pace is, Pace is Pace fucking strong. He got a shutdown, shutdown got on Zin before that, too. Yeah, Pace got 2k gold from shutdown, by the way. Oh, nice. I'm just perma DCing today. Where does he go, BT? Probably. Literally just perma DCing, man. Gilius, reveal your IP. No, nah, like, I, it's just, I don't know, like, it keeps on being, like, memory leak or something? I don't know. Oh, you have to, like, refresh, you mean, the page? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Twitch, yeah? Uh, oh, no. No, no, not on Twitch. That was on good, YouTube. like, foresight by Keen or whatever. Like, that was crazy, what? Yeah. He's knocked him into the base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Facebook switch. Change the browser. I'm not downloading a new fucking browser right now. Was the Enza have Shirelia second or what did he buy? Wait, he went. Wait, went. Wait, swiftness boots, okay. Yeah, I think he had no gold, so he just bought it. I mean, at, the, at this point, they just have no damage, no? Yeah. Maybe with the failures can line things up and can hit a lot, but I mean it it will go to the Zenza and Zack are just a little bit too OP. I think so. And, the, uh, uh, and Rabadon is coming on mid. Yeah. Um, the window of no sums is gone now. Do you want no? It's done off on, on Zack. Nah, not even Chovy can find a miracle in this spot. I, I mean, it has to go to Elder Flip and they just take it. But yeah, I mean, no, they, like, they need Guma to run it down. That's the only chance, I think. And this Lucian is so fast now. Yep. There's no chance of a BT here, right? I don't think so. After he bought Swift, this, I, yeah, I don't yeah. think so. Maybe he didn't. I think the correct play is to not buy and just try to get BT. Because like, there's no objectives for like 4 minutes, so you have to power farm. Oh my god. Ooh. It looks rough. Kin is blocking the Nami. Oh, he's going oh, in! He, he, yeah, I know, he missed <laughs> What the hell? Classic. <laughs> I don't know. Same shit yesterday. <laughs> Clicking portals. Is this a game where you have to go tank Azir? Oh, they missed a uh, affiliate sold here. Are you Damn. Are you Is this next normal? No. Yeah. Okay. Did you ask or did you read a comment like asking you? No, I'm like, I'm asking it. Oh, I mean, don't you think like with the game state, it was like good because they were in a good spot, but they just threw like so much gold that then tank builds are shit if you like fall behind the curve, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I mean, I just Ace think like going into the game, it's if... like you already have like a Sejuani and a Rek'Sai on your team. No, like, I, mean, I don't feel I, like you need to engage in this one, really. Yeah, I mean, but I guess he thinks he can create more, like he was really creating shit zones of space every fight, so he just got legit grief, so. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think there's a... Like, I think if you're a tank, you can kind of face tag Lucian Nami in fights. You know? Yeah, I can see that. Every, like, at every, um... They're 10k Bye, down, bro. It's so fucked. I look mid items. <laughs> now, when you tab, you're a bit scared. Like, you have a dog void. I think really Zinza needed to be the ban on Oh, Chovy, you I got caught. Think... Oh, never mind. Uh, I think uh, Chovy uh, choked in this final. So. What, what, what did they ban? They banned Kisante and uh, Vayne. Uh, but why Kisante? Like, he's gonna play a tank. Like, 
I mean, it's not that much more OP than like uh, the different tank. I think Zinza needed to be the balance. Like the only jungle pairing that is good there on four with Talia, Lushanami. Elder 27 Cho is dead, they have to give Elder. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. over, it's over. Yeah. No, people are gonna say he's Cho. He's cho yep. <laughs> yeah, Cho, just the lights were too bright for him in LCK, I guess. <laughs> it is crazy that I, I, when I get Thank to the that he has 16 Thanks. finals. 16 finals though, that's like, like fake, uh, what is that number, like, yeah. <laughs> that's a bit too high, it's like, yeah. <clears throat> huh? I, do you guys feel like, um, no, wait, I, I thought that they would be, I thought they would just start the shit on spawn, because yeah, we... it was desynced with Chovy's death timer. Maybe they wait for Tarjo. Maybe they can threaten end. Like they have super crux mid. Oh, really? That's good. That's good. That's good. You have to flip. Yeah, have to. It's yeah. the only play. I don't think it will work, but it's the only play. And Pace doesn't have. Uh, okay. Owner. Flash. Ace okay. flash. Okay. Okay. Other is one. Zinza O and HP. Owner looks balanced. Yeah, Camp <laughs> takes <Tech> sword. <laughs> no flash. Oh, oh, he doesn't even get it. Oh my god. Damn. Sounded sky. Wait, Bro, you got outside all over the place. Bro. It's actually such a good soul for this game, by the way, like unironically. It's yep. actually a good soul. Yeah, yeah. That fucking owner has been fucking yeah, good in the last two series. Not... Yeah, I think so. Like this series and the last series, he was yep. fucking good. Because he had a rough split, it's I think. always sipping on coffee. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Be but huge. T1 is like kind of like who do you guys think is the best player on T1? Like, Zeus for sure for me. I think Zeus, Zeus, yeah. Yeah. I think the others are a bit more conditional. You know what I mean? I mean, I think that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Figure can play pretty much everything he needs to play, right? Like he gets Ori ban yeah. every game, and then he gets Talia or, or Zir off that. It's good yeah. enough. I think Fake has been like this split the second best player. Like yeah, overall. Owner has very big highs and not like he kind of has variance. Who do you think is the and worst player on T1? Worst? Yep. Mm, I, I think Owner when he's bad, you know? Yep. But like now he's really good, so. I don't know. Is it somebody on Botman maybe? Maybe carry off his like things. And so he looks. It's annoyed. Like, Korea is such a strange player. Like, he had a really good Nico game. Yes. But then he, like, played Poppy. Well, I mean, he was good at Rakan everything. Like, there was, a period, there was a period oh, he where he could, like, insane. play everything. Yeah. And then I don't know what happened to that. He I, just played too I, much I, weird I, shit, and then he forgot I how to play so. normal shit. I think you, yeah, they only played AD carries for, like, whole split. Who, who's the worst player on GG? You think? Like, I would say Pace before. Yeah, I would say Pace but before. Pace, Lens. Yeah, I think Lehens Lens? is, like... Mm. I mean, I to mean, be honest, good. like, Kenyon is my goat, but he's been playing. Not that good, no? He's like, been I, vegan, I like bro. In, he's been vegan. I, I feel like in Gen G, <laughs> like, Chovy is by far the best.
<laughs> that is not bad, bro. I mean, I think I think Bernie is okay, but it dep really depends on where you order from. Like, for example, like the Italian restaurants are horrible, in my opinion. Like, yeah, it's, Italian food in really Germany bad. is it's horrible, man. It's tragic, you know, yeah. when, when I was there in March for a few days, I went to I I checked on maps. I took the best rated Italian restaurant, like four point seven. Okay, like the best, okay. like, the best rated <laughs> restaurant, and you know the. the I took carbonara. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try. And they, and they put parsley on it, which is totally like, <laughs> never do that. They have like two pieces of meat, like almost nothing. And they, they don't put egg. They put cream, which is also wrong. And it's it's like a, a upscale restaurant with the best um, ratings in the whole area. And it was really bad. I was like, what? Am I getting trolled? Like. Uh, yeah, Italian food, I've not found a good place, like... Yeah, I, same, same. I know, I like, found I, one... I before. found, like, a nice pizza place, but I don't think it's... Yes. I don't... Gilius is streaming, there's no way he's not streaming. He has to. I saw clips and there was a point where they're just standing there just punching each other. Like no yeah, no yeah. defense, they're just sitting there just punching each other in the face. That's the Holloway special. He's like, he points to the ground. He's like, yeah, let's sit and bang. Fuck the fight. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Holloway from, oh, from America. Or do I need to like fucking, hold on. He's from Hawaii, I believe. Oh, native Hawaiian and Samoan Anthony. Okay, that's good. Like, that's a good, a good. Gilio said he was going to bed game one. You went to bed, Gilligan? No way. What? Nah, it's, they were just trolling it. I'll go. Bro, Gilius, I'm I can't good. believe Gilius fucking didn't watch. What was it? Top Esports JDG? Yeah. He just skipped it, man. How do you skip that? I was too tired, <laughs> man. I'm not, I'm not built like you two. It is what it is. Okay, you're built like a cannonball, bro. Oh, really? <laughs> the T1 Goblin fans just like, can show up. They sh just say the most vile things about Chovy. <laughs> like, they've been quiet the whole year. They just show up and stream. By the way, Fuck this just... guy! Don't you Fuck think Chobi? it's really bad to go that build on Azir when you have Rexa and Sejuani on your team? Oh, that, that's what Do Dom said. But I think, I think if they didn't throw, if the Vekans didn't throw, they were like 2 or 3k up. But I think it was fine. Then, then uh, T1 wouldn't have damage, but okay. I think they had way too much gold. I'm a big hater of this grass tank as you really? I mean, I think, like, I think he can legit face tank Lucian army in fights, but he's like... 
the hands just ran it down and gave Nash and fucking... Yeah, yeah, the hands completely ran down. That was really disgusting. Bro, why, why don't his teammates want to win, by the way? Like, do, do Chovy, Chovy's teammates, they just don't want to have a championship? Like, like, he's legit walking to midway. He's the most fed member, and the hands is just warding the most... You know that bush uh, next to Raves? That bush is, like, impossible to control, like, right? Like, it's so impossible to take vision there, uh, unless you're, like, super ahead. It's so useless to have vision there. Like, what does it fucking do? Just, uh, just wait for uh, zero, man. Yes. I think it's Chovy's fault, like, uh, his, his teammates are just used Maybe to him getting, so they couldn't improve. I mean, he should, like, scream at them. Hey! As, um, I, I think that the, the, the grasp, like you can go grasp and still buy AP. I don't think it changes. Like, like you can still pivot out of the tank build. Like, when you buy Hourglass, you can still go into Nash's Tooth, Grip Bloom if you want to. I, I think it's not that big of a problem. But there was like the, 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 the fourth Drake fight was coming up, so it just slammed like a Negatron Cloak, which is the best buy you can do for 900 gold in that spot. But I think you can go grasp and still buy regular items. Okay. But uh, I think I think like the value he got out of Zekers and Hourglass was pretty fucking high this game. I, I think so. I think so, yeah. It's just beyond the point of those two items, I think the game was already decided off of the Nash, right? I mean, here, like, the, the gold thing is, it was, it's tough to be like 5k after this. And then, yeah. Yeah. I think Jovi's teammates just don't want to have championships. It's fine. LCK Finals has been match fixed for the last 10 years, I'm kidding. <laughs> Dude. Oh, we're gonna have a fucking LPL banger too. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, wait, wait, it's um, top JDG, right? Yep. Yes, sir. Do you think they're gonna, JDG is gonna do better than last time? Yeah, yeah. They will do better, yeah. Yeah, I think they will. I have a feeling Ruler is dialed in now. Well, I mean, last game or last series, he just played like what three games in Zeri. I think this yeah, time they're gonna throw different looks. I think he's gonna play like Varus. Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Varus is mean as fuck. I mean, man. also Rel. Didn't they play yeah. three games of like Zeri Rel? Didn't they play man, Rel? I hate that lane. That really shit. That lane is shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, Missing looks so much better. Like his Nautilus is really good. Like, Missing can play everything, bro. There's no reason to put him only on Rel. He can play Nautilus. He can play Renata. He can play Rakan better than anyone on the planet. Like, come on. The guy is. Uh, he was struggling on Nautilus too, like in the last series that they like against it was against NIP. Uh, mm. It was against Billy Billy. I don't remember. I, I still can't believe that. I thought his Nautilus was good. Not sure. The Sean Sean was playing Nautilus. It's bro, he, not, he could have carried the footing yeah, down yeah, the midway, yeah, bro. He yeah, was yeah. charging up the whole game yes, for that yes, elder yes. fight. Yeah, <laughs> that was crazy, yeah. man. It's just so troll. Like he, they even lane spot. You would think it's like so bad, you know, but he was actually like fucking. Strong. Still can't believe they fucking gave missing Rakan in game five. Uh, and they didn't, they, 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 they didn't they didn't four five. Uh, I mean, the Rex, Rex, I, oh. what it was like six. This is what it was getting smashed. Okay. But that matchup is like, I think Zeri Nautilus cannot win into Zarakan if the Zarakan is good. Like, the, you have no winning level because you just don't win, you know? And they're giving yeah. the two best champs. To, like, I think it's a bit, my uh, chat just said missing Rakan good, Korea Rakan better. Like, no. Dude, people just don't even watch the game. Like, no, missing, uh, missing Rakan I think he's like 30 0 on this person. <laughs> This is 25 game win streak on Rakan. Yeah, 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 he's like... <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you watch LCK, like you should just be saying Delight Rakan. Delight is the yeah, best Rakan yeah. in LCK, For by sure, far. Yeah. But like people just like don't even watch their own region that they fucking dick suck perma. <laughs> I think Korea, from my from my standpoint, LCK is the region where people have the most delusion in terms of like who's good out of any region. For, for example, maybe like two years ago, Korea was insane on everything. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know how long, maybe three, two. But now he's way more like uh, conditional. I think Zeus is the one that. I mean, I think the, the I, biggest threat. I think the light is just the best support in the region. Yeah. Like that guy is really fucking good, bro. 
he is just... Oh, is that the MVP necklace? I feel like he was actually... Damn. That looks kind of cold. He's getting a ring as well. It's kind of cool. Oh, shit. Wait, who, who won MVP? Toby? I'm going to ask you guys a question. The finals is over yet. <laughs> I'm oh, going to ask you three a question. Shit. Who is a better Corky right now? Chovy or Faker? Chovy. no? Okay. Just, thank you. I feel like Chovy. Yeah, uh, win ratio yeah. Andes? No, I just uh, have like. Chovy is just the better player. I just have right like now, Dom. So. I just have like, oh, Dom is so delusional. Dom also said Chovy Corky is greater than Faker, even though Faker is legit the Corky player and was undefeated yeah. for three yeah. years. That image is sick as fuck, bro. 100 games they played against each other. Damn. Oh, it's Woo! Cool. Dude, they play more games against each other than some people just play. You know? Wait, wait, what was the image? I was reading chat. It was basically like just two, like they had the camera on Faker and Chovy at the same time, What's and this the is the 100th game. What's the I don't winner? know what the winner is actually. Ooh, they didn't show that. Fuck, my stream is freezing. Can you stream Dom again so I can sync up? Chovy is not the better player. They are very much equal what final are you watching. I think. Chovy is the better player. Like, Faker has clutch plays, but I think overall, his baseline level is low. Alright. Yeah. Lost game. Guys, there's no, no shame. Like, Chovy might be the best player in the world right now. Like, there's he's no not shame. Even might, bro. Like, he just is. I think he just is. Uh, yeah. Just I think he's just the best to, player in the world. They need to stop giving Onox and Zabar, man. Now, also, I agree with you. Also, like, is Chovy right now playing the best League of Legends out of anyone ever? Uh, like ever yeah i think like he's having i think he's playing on the highest level we've ever seen league of legends period probably he, 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 he was first in every single like stop like, like, while i mean obviously more recent players are going to be playing better league of legends of course yes. but like there's times where it's like there isn't somebody standing out but like i think the, the chovy is just like i mean you yeah. know like I think peak wise you can compare it to like when Uzi was super dominant but everybody played for him but I feel like Chovy just It's way harder to be uh, to be this good oh, now way harder <laughs> Okay Luciano the rapper? Do they go with Zeri Lulu? No, no. I think, sure play I, think, I, mean, I think he plays Zeri sometimes, but I don't think it's his, like... It's cursed, bro. Even if he has a decent game, he can't win. Yeah. <laughs> You know what, what one guy, one Reddit friend said? It's because Gumayushi uses A click so much, so he's not used to playing there. <laughs> like, like, compared to peers, so obviously not compared to peers. Are you guys fucking stupid? Obviously, I'm not saying compared to peers. I'm saying, is he playing the best League of Legends that's ever been played? Like, League of, like, not, like, it, there's no one in Season 3 to, like, you couldn't even make conversations of anyone playing the best League of Legends until, like, at least, like, Season, Season 10, maybe? Season 11, like the amount of game knowledge people have is so much better now than people back then that like there's not even a comparison between like seasons three through nine and like what people are playing now. If, if you're not playing in the recent era of League of Legends where like people understand waves to this degree, they understand side lanes to this degree, you can't even compare. Like when you just, if you were to look at every single aspect of the game, this is like, and you just had like AI playing the game, this would probably be like the closest you could get to it. Dude, the shy in, in 2018 to 2019 would get insane clapped by, by Zeus now. Like people are just like really just like, they have ridiculous hindsight like like rose tinted glasses for previous eras Genji, you're better than this wow since i was open there we go oh, how, how do you just get zinjao on four like this yeah, I, mean, I don't get it, bro. 
their bot lane is more mobile now, but uh, yes, it's Re Rek'Sai Jax, I think would be really good. Rek'Sai Jax. Okay, they're so scared of this vein. Man. But they're they're scared Actually, of they're scared of Zac pick now. Yeah. I think it's for sure Jax though for Canyon. Pretty good into Aphelios as well. And I feel like I feel like Ka that Kazakh is a horrible oh. pick, no? It's yeah, so, what the fuck is that? I think this champion just sucks. Yeah, the champ is horrible, man. What does the champ do? Like, wait, why? Why would they pick it here in this game? But it's supposed to be good into Zin, no? It was always like supposed to be decent into Zin. I mean, yeah, if you're like post six and you're fucking. Oh yeah, I know. Isolated. I'm just saying. That's what I heard like in the past. You know? But I think it's just. Wait, they don't go back. <laughs> he just goes man. Man, okay. uh, They just have like five carry king from for what? I feel like this is a really bad Gwen angle though. Yes! Into like Lucian Army, Kha'Zix W spam, Aiso. Yeah. Not oh, good, no? Just go tank. Why don't they pick a tank? I mean, I mean, it's so weird draft, you know? they, they change so much, like they just pick a carry top, they pick Kha'Zix instead of Rami, both teams like, pivoted. I mean, in theory, I feel like Genji, Genji can uh, win this game. Let's see it. So Aphelios Lulu wins lane with Lucian Nami. Gwen should win with Cassante. I guess Aurelion beats Azir. I mean, bot lane is like kind of depending on trades, but generally Aphelios Lulu wins, yeah. <coughs> I mean, they kind of need for Kha'Zix to power farm, I guess. Maybe Zin will try to invade with bot. Like last game. He could, yeah. Uh, I feel like if Genji don't fall behind and then start playing off like... I'm really curious what this Kha'Zix is gonna buy. Probably Profane, right? Profane, first strike. Q, Evolve. Uh, I have no clue, like... Like, can you even play with Q, Evolve? Like, like I think you're just gonna spend W like this game, like... I don't know, it's such a weird cause. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. 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 I do I mean, the runes, man. What do you mean? I want to see what he took second tree. Uh, I mean, it's just sudden impact. And I, I mean, what do you go? Eyeball, no? Or, or I mean, uh, maybe, maybe it's just eyeball. Um, maybe it's just eyeball relentless hunter and competitive. Ooh. Yeah, I think so. Probably relentless hunter over treasure hunter. Bro, I take treasure hunter every time I play this champ, though. Could, could be zombie ward as well, and you go umbral. Actually, they love zombie ward. Mm. But why is it like lagging? Oh, this is like, oh, they're getting fucked, man. Oh, I mean, Pace means the first W, it's already bad because he's playing for sorcery, so he, he, has, he needs to put Scorch and Mana Flow. Okay, he has Zombie Ward Sudden Impact. Alright. Mm. He's gonna yeah. go on. Bro. Yep. This, this is really fine for T1. The wave being here, the jungler is passing topside on the ward. Genji just gonna crash us in base? Uh, they're gonna try, but T1 can hold. They just start trading now, he, like he can pop potion. Hmm. On, on the be like the wave as fast as possible. <laughs> I'll just hold it here. Now Zinzao will come. 
Bro, is, is Gwen actually a real champ in this game? I feel like Gwen is actually really bad, no? Yeah, that's what, that's what we were saying. Uh, okay. We yeah, I was muted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we said, like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, well, what are you picking Gwen again? Like, why not go tank, you know? Like, why pick, like, four carries? Yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't you just go... With, I thought that they Zach. would just go, like, Zach here or something. Yeah, I said, I said Zach. Uh, I don't know, just pick a tank. You have Azir, Aphelios, Lulu, Zin. Like, why the fuck do you need damage? I mean, Rek'Sai was up, no? But I guess Zeus just can't play it. Oh, really? Yeah, I think he played it once and it was, like, pretty bad. And then he just gave up on mm. it. He, he doesn't like playing those types of champs, to be honest. I feel like he plays... He did play Zach sometimes, or no? Oh, you mean... I'm, I'm at Rek'Sai. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, but I'm saying he could go Zack. That, that's like, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, bot lane dive, maybe? It's, I mean, they have heal and they don't have ignite. I think it's hard to die. They really just... No, I think you just No, you stay under it, turret here, don't you? Bro, I think you just stay under turret. You have heal, bro. Wait, really? You will always trade kills, I feel like, under turret. Bro, he's getting solo kills. Damn, how OP is jungle? I think they still trade kills. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, maybe if carry a W's, but uh, look at bots, yes. It's, it's fucking shit. Oh, Canyon can't even help this, bro. I mean, he has, he has Dirk though. Like, but they're all stacking on each other. But this is why I, I said Insta. Like when Pay started, it missed the first W, and then the wave was so bad. Then Aphelios will always get a slow push back. Mm -hmm. Okay, mid is fucking. Oh, this stay for mid is crazy, you know? Look. Yeah, I mean, it was even worse in game one. Or game two, yeah, I mean. But it's crazy because in you it was flipped this way, but probably it's just. Yep. Goat, I guess. But that's humanoid playing. Aurelian Soul. And the champ looks so troll when he like taps the laser, you know? Yeah, just for like Comet Rocks and then Scorch. <laughs> yeah, so dumb, man. <laughs> He looks so like comfortable. Look, he's level he's six, old. fucking forty-six years. Hello. Yo. So explain to me what's this insect about? Uh, no one knows. He's in, no, like okay. isolated. We are hoping that Canyon will teach us. Oh. Oh. oh, nice touch. It won't kill, no. Uh, no. I mean, it applies. I mean, figure we just have to eat, right? I don't think he dies, but he was beat like the good one. Here. A bot lane is disgusting. Yes, look at that. Yeah. Pain, yeah. Surprised because it's better to top even. Yeah, I don't know, but like they missed their first W, then their wave was bad. Kazik starting to top, and now this is just over. But I, I really feel like I think I wrote it in chat. I feel I don't think Genji will win worlds with Pace's level right now. Like this year, you know? Yeah, I they're not even winning out CK, what do you mean? Uh, uh, I'm, I mean like... Because they already won LCK in the past, but I, I don't... I guess the light was the one... Well, yeah, the light the is the so good, bro. I don't think it was Pay. Uh, Pace is always overhyped. Yeah, I mean, look, look, he can't lane, no? They, they, they cannot know. survive. It's rough, man. The thing is, if you lose control in this lane, it's hard to read, like... He lost so much XP that he can never dash in for the rest of the game almost. And if he can't dash in this lane, it's just the game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, free dragon here. Yep. But I see fucking Zinza comes through. I thought also maybe they are just picking Zinza 1, 2, 3 and just dropping mid because yep. they have enough champs into, into RC. But this is the this is the Kazakhs, bro. You just go enemy red with a Dirk at level 6. I thought Trovi is going to have more creep on me. Oh, he saved TP. Okay. That's fine. He's gonna have to help his bot lane or the Kha'Zix is gonna have to help, but I don't think Kha'Zix even kills a fair just Lolo, like you just get turned on and die. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's hard. Like you can't gank, you can't gank this. Oh, nice, Kuma. Parents. Unplayable, man. Mom is um. Alright. Yeah, we're just all grooving Chovy. We're taking turns. Nice. Yeah, it's actually crazy, by the way. <laughs> 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 it's just sad. It's like it, you... Do you really not believe a fucking Gwen into Kisante anymore, but like this game, like how can Gen G accelerate this game at all with their draft? Like, uh, I think I think Gwen is not even good this game, like even later on. 
I mean, I understand, like, <coughs> picking for the matchup, but I feel like if you just pick a tank and then play into bot... The matchup is not even that good. Like, for Gwen? Yeah. Yeah, it used to be better, no? Way better. Way better, yeah. Does he have... There's no way he has Rylai's, right? ADCS on a plate, does he? Bro. I mean, he must, right? If he's basing here. Yeah. Yeah, look at his fucking creep from bot, man. He can't do anything. Holy Guma's pissing on them. I mean, even if this oh, bubble hits, it did nothing change. It's like the, literally nothing changed. But I guess Canyon can take blue here. Yeah, I mean, he probably has to like camp jungle but or something. Canyon I mean, needs to like fucking lane gank and give them a bit like, I don't know, a camp actually. He just has to let them suffer, I guess. They just play later. It's not true, like, I knew level 1 when his first W missed, I knew fucking half the lane is over. <laughs> you play Lucian Army, like, you, you can't. I think you should ult this wave and just base. Wait, it's fine, he pushed this too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just, the it's like, I, 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 it's, it's like, the red side Alsk is so fucking hard. But blue, like, how can they create any initiative in this game? Oh, they need to get, like, a Kha'Zix a kill, no? Yeah. They need to get a kill somewhere and to get first item. Maybe, where, where mid, maybe? Top? Because bot is not dying. I think Kha'Zix is actually pretty good into Kuven as well. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah I think can, so. Kenny can carry this. Well, let's see. But he needs to start uh, doing, doing some stuff. He's just I mean, right now. It's, it's kind of like nice because Aesol kind of forces people to spread. So then you have like uh, like Kha'Zix to just actually be able to deal damage. I, th I think it's it's yeah. actually not that bad scaling. Both teams. No, I think the thing can for sure work like mid game, but if the button is this behind then you can dash on me i think it was a good swap though like these are really good yeah. also nami can just buff up the kha'zix later yeah so if, especially if it's not bro why oh, am i lagging really so much man holy <laughs> fuck there's something off with youtube i don't know uh, how it oh he's oh lehens lehens oh, is zeus if they kill zeus here oh my god is this like game losing or what this is flash okay, okay. oh i'm lagging Oh, Trovi! Trovi! He has ult. <laughs> he cleared away. Oh! First oh, blood! Oh, Nami! Oh, oh, oh man, two for two. Oh, oh, wait, 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 didn't Canyon misplay that? Uh, I don't know. The rewatch. Like, isn't somebody else tanking so he can just deal damage? I mean, I did this before, really didn't I? I mean, they get six grubs, though. I think it's whatever. I mean, they're... Yeah. No, I mean, it, it's it's okay for Gen G. It just could have been I better. I think it's actually okay for Gen G, but T1 is ahead, but I think Gen Bro, G is he just going to die to Grubs, bro? Like, what's happening here? I've never <laughs> no, seen anyone no, no. die to Grubs before. Like, I didn't know that this was impossible. He has to give, though. No? Oh. He has to give one. Oh, okay. Imagine... Like, can you check the dot? Because I feel like... No, he can't um, even do Grubs. Yeah, nice champion, bro. This champion doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, look here. I, after when Troll becomes. No, well, I can slash into the Gwen. Right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was good flash, by the Yep. Look now, who, who takes aggro? Canyon is walking back. It probably well, be Chovy, right? Now, look, now, look now, Chovy ult. Chovy ult, right? Chovy has aggro. Nah, uh, nah, I can't, no, he can't can, play can, different. Can yeah, he can, he can. That's how he should play it. No, yeah. I thought he was closer, maybe, so he could kill. But I think this is really fine for Gen G, though, to be honest. No, it's completely okay. Like, they get Shiv on ADC now, they can actually play the game. And, and they get uh, five grubs. Yeah. Uh, Dom, it helps to just uh, remove, kill the chat on YouTube. Yeah, I already did. Like, I, I, I do, everyone says that, it doesn't do anything, but yeah. I just, I do it every time because people get worked up about it. <laughs> He's going profane Hydra second item on Kha'Zix. Wait, you sure? I think so, yeah. yeah. Hey, I thought maybe he might go like Serrated Dirk or something. Because he's playing against like Lulu and shit. Mm -hmm. And it's competitive. Oh. 
긴만 있고요. 젠지 입장에서. 그리고 바텀 방금 아즈르를 좀 쫓아냈으니까. Fake has TP. They can probably pay for the strike still. Yeah. Chovy has no TP. Has big old. Okay, but... um. They can just give. I think it just hit top. Oh, nope, they're not. We're good. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, it's one give. Yeah. Oh, was lagging. That's so good. That's so good for Genji. I feel like you get you had five grubs. You got one break. You give yourself more time for like Kha'Zix 11. Yeah, I mean Kha'Zix is like Aso, pretty like, strong in 11. Dude, Razir has two kills, but Aesol is just winning side. Yep. I mean, I think that here you play to kill the. You probably play to kill the Azir on side. Oh, Azir, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think you just portal into their jungle here. Oh, actually, okay, never mind. Chovy needs the base, but like, whatever, Chovy has a timer. I think this game is good for Genji, this game state. Yeah, I think it's fine too. They got really, it's a really good Drake roll for them. Really yeah. good Drake roll. Like, just getting so much value off of each Drake take, because I think, in terms of how they curve out, I think like two, three, it should be slightly better. Yeah. I think that Gwen comes online a little bit later. But did Kane just walk through there and he, and he wasn't close enough to the ward? Proc is umbral? I think so. Yeah, that's depressing. But low key? I think, I think it's better for a T1 win. So then we can go straight into LPL. I'm gonna five series wanna, straight into LEC. I don't want to miss game one either. We will like miss the flow of the series. Yeah, 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 same. I don't like going back and forth. Everyone just loses their mind. Our dominate just loves T1. I just like T1. No, I mean, you know, I, I've said this a million times in my chat. Like, if you take away the organization and the fan base, like, and all that stuff, like, T1 has the play style that I like the most in the LCK. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, like their playstyle is the one that I fuck with the most. Like, I don't mind if teams are like a little like, cause I feel like T1, they're like, they're not super smart. They're not like as good as like Gen G is around objectives, but they're like clutch and they're hype and they make like good plays and they're pretty aggressive early. So like, that's actually the, the style of League of Legends I like. That's the same reason I like the LPL. But it's just everything else that makes me just hate the team. But Xanta rushed period. Yeah, I don't know about that, bro. Some I've never seen that. Before. Forbidden tech. I rewatched the uh, game one uh, quadro kill from Faker. It was so fucking mentally ill, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Like, but I mean, Paige just completely griefed it. If we're being honest. Into him. Yeah, I mean, Paige <laughs> yeah. just like really, really just ran it down on purpose. But I understand why he would feel like. Oh wait, owner should never take this. No, owner, this is like the other guy's conditions. Oh, Lulu's here. Yeah. I mean, it's good for Canyon. You'll take that all day. Like, dude, fighting over Grump is like OP as Kazakh, bro. Like, you just want to fight over like red, blue, and and, and enemy Grump perma. Yeah. Oh man, they're gonna get Harold spawned here. Bro, okay. lagging so hard. Yeah. I think we can't do. We can't be so fast forwarded on fucking. I'm not fast forwarded. Uh, I refreshed and you're 20 seconds ahead. Nice. Why am I not lagging at all? We're in the same house. I have no idea. It's probably the computers and stuff. Shit. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Bubble? Oh my god, Carrier can't play. Wait, couldn't could they commit harder or no? They, fr they threw three nuclear bombs on Lulu's face and she survived. Yep. <laughs> But this is before uh, Chovy spikes. Yeah, but uh, this is so good for Gen Z in the game wise. Yep. It's, I feel like they're getting like so oh, much just, time. Just like pause for five seconds or some shit? <clears throat> and now Kazakh is 11, no? He goes W ever. Yep. Yeah. And now he's gonna spam W with Nami. He's actually useful at 11 now. Like with yeah. Nami, he's like pretty strong, I think. Like 50% slow. Wait a second. Wait, what is he actually building? The Kazakhs? No, 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 it doesn't build out of that. Hey, what is he going? Is it he's going no bro, I I know what he's going. What is it? He's going Sundered Sky, bro. What? Really? Oh wow. It's like a bruiser build or what? 
I mean, I don't know what else it is, bro. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's not going that way. What is he going? It's not Cleaver. He should go full lethality this game. Wait, what is he going? He's going Shoujin. A clip? No, it's a clip. Yeah. Yeah. It's Eclipse, yeah. It's Eclipse? Oh. Wait, but Eclipse on Cat? Like, I've never seen this. Okay. Really? That sounds decent, to be honest. It gives a lot of AD. Yeah, okay. he's, he's, 70 he's AD, really but like... Though. I mean, I, I feel like if you're not going... Like, if you're going Eclipse, then I don't understand why you're going uh, Umbral. Yeah, I was about to ask what do you guys think of Umbral, because I feel this item is like a bit slow. Like, That's good in competitive, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that, so I, I would think you'd go like Eclipse Cleaver, like that type of style. Mm. But I feel I really want to see if this blade is going to be used for in like two drakes, I guess. Yeah, he, he does an insane amount of damage right now. Yeah, yeah, he's he's strong. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know, but I mean like in fights, you know, if he can actually yeah, in fights, he's going to be completely useless. <laughs> for Ws. <laughs> I, dude, I thought he was going to go like Serpent's Fang or something. Serpent's Cut Fang? down like Lulu shields and stuff. Mm. Maybe later, maybe first. No, I think I think now he probably has to go. Cleaver. Does he go Cleaver this game or does he just go? No, 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 no. no. He's gonna go. Edge, he's gonna go Edge of Night now. Yeah, edge of Night should be good. Yeah. You can go Edge of Night, but then you're getting really late, Seraldo. I guess Edge of Night is like good HP though. Kenyan always does the most pus pussy build you can do. Yeah. Bro, what happened to my goat? He's just a pussy, bro. Bro, like, is do I have to accept that Canyon is just washed if he loses this? Yeah. Okay. I'll just accept it then, I guess. Ooh. Oh, nice. Ooh. I still don't understand the event value, guys. I don't yeah, think I will understand it for the rest of the game. No, that doesn't say, so I said I want to see if this grade is going to be useful. Yeah, never, bro. Like, never, never. Game losing, like pick, like literally. But I mean, like, look, uh, imagine being anyone else in this game and you press tab, you see a Cassante with these items and you see a Gwen with these items. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, like aren't you just like yes. mentally shattered? Yes. Oh, Canyon. He can get this guy's fly. Oh, he should chase him to the, to the ends of the earth. He's chasing, yeah. Yep. Oh, oh he, he one shot him. Oh. Nice. It's free Nash. Oh. It's just free Nash. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think it's Nash. I think it's Nash. They, they also chunked Guma mid. They should go for it. They should force, bro. Oh, stop clearing peak. Go. Just fucking hit it, bro. Chobi TP like top for it, bro. Go, man. Yeah, he's doing Grump. Let him do Grump, bro. No, no wait. It was the free Nash. They actually won the game here, bro. They Let literally won the game, but they just didn't want to win, I guess. Wait. Wait, what? Dude, I feel like they see things I don't see because Nah bro, go it was literally the freest Nash I would, man. I would I would never clear pinks, I would just go Nash and just do it. But maybe they think what that the portals will make Zing come back in fast? No 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 bro, there's no chance. Like you actually one shot it. Like the only reason the, legit two shot, no? the only reason you wouldn't do Nash here is if you're like Cassante wasn't there, because then you had would have no one to tank it. I mean I totally agree, I, I don't know. They're just playing it safe, I guess. I don't know. I would, I it, it was it was so free. Also, if you looked at the conditions of mid, they had mid full pushed, and Guma actually yeah. was like chunked and had the base. Like yeah, he I... he would have canceled his base if they started Nash, but he's like joining the fight at like sixty percent life. No ult. Like they got they got Azir flat. Is that like what? Like dude, like to Nash, no? I mean, you at least do Nash and then turn. Yes, it's, it's also like 20 minute Nash. I think you do it in like 15 oh, seconds. Bro. <laughs> but this is a troll from. Wait, what the fuck is uh, Honor doing though, invading? Yeah. Dude, like, after this game, you're T1, you're like, hey guys, you have two hyper carries. Uh, Azir and Aferos, what the fuck is Gwen bringing? She's not even winning side, by the way. <laughs> She's literally not even winning currently. So what, what's the point? Four item spike or what? Yeah, you can maybe go here. He says for champ. Oh, right? figures that, figures that. Oh, redemption oh, gap? Maybe. Big ult? Oh, Q! Oh my oh. god. Zeus is killing? Zeus is killing everyone? Nah, the Gwen is broken. Okay. Wait, nobody died there on T1. That's good. Yeah, Zeus is dead though. Dude, yeah. it's, so cool. it's honestly like, it's honestly okay, I think. For yeah, who? I could have ended oh, much worse for Genji. For, oh, for Genji. For Genji. Yeah. I think it's okay.
they, they used the million ults. Like, I mean, I, they just need to farm Chovy's big ult again, I think. Uh, look, look, he won't just ult some stairs as well. Yes, yes. I think they just start Nash now. I think yeah. if you're Gen G, you start Nash and turn with A solo. Does he have big ult? Thanks. Oh, he's going Fage now, Kha'Zix. What, what's that? Uh, 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 Cleaver or Sterox, I think? Man, Cleaver is so bad because you have like Lucian, Nami, A solo. You don't like... Yeah, it's Cleaver. Yeah. How the fuck did Kenyon survive? Oh. Well, how are people living? Everyone is like one kid. How crazy is Aso? He just flies from half Dude, the map. I, I, and then... I, I was on this shit being OP in literally like February, man. As soon I mean, as they did know, the change, it was so fucking broken bro, in my eyes. You know what was the funniest? When I was reading Reddit and they were working and they said, Right, he's so clueless. They don't know what to do with champs. And then he released with like a 60% win rate, the highest win rate on any champ ever. Completely broken. Yeah. Then they nerfed him. They said he's completely useless. Bro, this pick is big. They get third Drake and second turn. Yeah, yeah. I think this is insane for them. Yeah. yeah, this is so good. Bro, we're going to Sosa. Yeah, it's going to yeah. get five. Yeah. yeah. He's going to get five. And this game, their bot was even getting like completely stomped, and they had to swap away. Yep. And they're still uh, in the game pretty like comfortably, you know. But was this only two Lushanami picks, or was it picked game one too? It wasn't. It was uh, Kalista, game one Draven, was uh, Draven Poppy versus uh, Kalista, right? and then Kalista into Varus, right? Yeah, yeah. And then it was then like Kalista and Tavares with uh, Nico and Annie support. The Annie support is horrible, bro. Yeah, it's just I refuse it's to believe this is a real champion. It's hard countered by Clan. Bro, like, you know, so. I think they're gonna first pick Lucian game five. He won. And just play. I don't think he's speaking of failures again, that's for sure. I don't, I don't think Kerry on Lulu is like. I don't think that's what they should play. But also, like. Oh, just, yeah. The P1 thing of this game, it's like, you have like no system, like, your champs don't work well together, no? He's going Cleaver, bro, he is going Cleaver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that makes zero sense. Yep. It's such a disgusting glimpse, like, it's so disgusting. Bro, Casey fans on Twitter make me want to just blow my brains out in game. Holy shit! Just I see such clueless takes about everything. <laughs> yeah, but the enemy team is not even building much armor, like Cleaver is low value. Yeah, I mean he's just building it because it has HP, let's be real. Yeah. yeah, then Edge of Night would be better, I think. Yeah. I wonder whose call it was to put Kenyon on, like, Kazakhs. I wonder if, like, he really wanted it or if the coach was like... Yeah. Like, because I can see a coach being like, Hey, bro, we need to give this guy, like, like more... But, like, we can't put him on Sejuani. Mm. Right now. Like, you can put him on Sejuani generally, but just with the, how the course of the series went. Nice. Dude, but this is what like Asian teams are so much better at when they play Lucian Nami. They like control space. Make it hard to walk in places. That's a Baron. Yep. That's a Baron. Bro, Gilly, are you sweating? Very they're all very patient. Huh? Are you sweating? No. T1's gonna lose, bro. Oh, Look, they're no, panicking they right now. Lance is dead. Yeah, yeah, he's he's, oh, he's dead. dead. What, what what second are you on, bro? He's got big ult, bro. He, there's big ult right here. They're fucking cooked. Oh, their their whole team is cooked right here. Big ult, big ult. Well, it's probably the coolest of being in the game. <laughs> oh my God, Keen, what what the fuck? All right. Oh, Faker, Faker, <laughs> playmaker. He's <laughs> so nice too. GG. The Chovies just go to the Bro, Yamato has just been muted the whole game. He got triggered by a shatter. What? <laughs> oh my, he, he's behind us. That's why. Oh really? Yeah. Dang, game five. They can't dance. Yeah. 
Yeah, the game is fucking cooked. Yeah, the game is I think they have first preclusion game 5, that's my prediction, they go blue and they have first preclusion. No, no, no. If they, they go blue, like, the predicament is different, right? Because now it's like, uh, enemy team is probably not banning Kalista and Varus, and if they ban Kalista and Varus, then you get one of the other picks that have been permaban. Well, which one were permaban before? Uh, so, so far, it's been like, uh, Orianna gets permaban. Mm -hmm. Orianna, uh, TF. Or, uh, or Oriana Senna. Okay, it's like Oriana Senna, okay. like TF, like Varus, like the, these are the picks. I think actually maybe TF is getting banned later, but like normally Oriana Senna because like they play all the uh, cringe champs for, with Karia. Oh no, TF is one to three, but. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and then I think it's gonna be like Varus Callista trade game five. But maybe it's like Varus, or maybe it's like Callista picked and then Lucia Nami into it. I have no idea. Vi yeah, Vi gets banned every game too. Yeah. But Vi is being banned by who? Uh, by Genji. Wait, Genji is banning it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, is, is you Wait, what are they? Yeah, wait, nah, I have to go look. I have to go look. Oh, Mo! Bro, look at the suck. Like How do you get out of that, by the way? Yeah, but it feels like he always has big moves. He met, like, he always has a Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know how he always has it, but he does things that other early souls don't do. not do. Like, he'll go on the mid wave and he'll just, like, E the wave and let Pays farm it, but he'll get all the sacks, you know? Mm. I haven't seen people doing that. I, mean, I don't know. He always has big ult, I noticed. Every, like, fight. Yeah, yeah, he does. Well, this one wasn't big ult, was it? Is it not? No, I don't think so. No, no, no. This oh, wasn't okay, big ult. Yeah. This was just his E is the size of the entire map. Oh, That's his yeah, E. Yeah, okay. yeah. But it's because he has so many stacks. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, his E. The, look his... at his farm. Did you see his farm? 340 at 29. Like, what the fuck? This guy is like locked in, man. How, how do they have 12 chests per minute? Like that. You know, like, what? Bro, why is there so much lag, man? It's also so crazy because Faker got two kills on the dive and Chovy was still winning side per. Yeah, like but I, I mean, dude, yeah. when I watch him play the matchup, it just looks like his champion just beats him. It, his yeah, champion but... just beats uh, Azir. Uh, right. I have... Uh, yeah, I need to go to lunch now with my family. But, All right, bro. Uh, just, Peace. Just chill. Uh, uh, yeah, Good thank to you, see you, Crowdy. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye. See ya. Have fun. See ya. All right, it's time, boys. Damn, Mata, sub, but like kind of a coach. Did you expect you would have more views on YouTube? Do I? I had my uh, YouTube off. What was the peak? Oh, nice.
Damn. Damn. Big. Big. All right, boys. All right. Can you doesn't play a carry, they lose. I mean, there's other options you can go with, man. There's there's other things that you can go with here. I think that um the main thing that I want to see is they need to have a bot lane matchup that's stable and they need to have Zeus off like these types of like weird counter picks, which I think they've been doing in most of the games. The, the question here is going to be like, okay, so let's go back and let's talk about this a little bit. Oh, what's happening here? Can I not go back in the YouTube player? Bro, what, what is wrong with my like YouTube today? It seems so like fucked up. I don't know what happened. I restarted my computer and everything and it's just like my YouTube is fucked. Let's go back and look at like game uh, two draft. Okay, so this is the, the issue. So Genji ban Ash, um, Oriana Senna. So the question is, do they do they leave the Ash potentially and ban Varus, and then maybe play Ash into Kalista? That's an option. Um, you look at the other games when they're on blue side, they do different draft, right? When they're on blue side, they have different angle. What do they ban on blue side? So on blue side, they ban Vi. But that's because they're first picking a Zir. So now Gen.G is going to be red. It's their second red game in the series. I mean, they're probably going to end up giving a Zir and then playing Soul again. I mean, they could probably run back something similar to game two. It's not like game two draft is unwinnable. It's just that you just don't pick the Annie, right? You just can't pick the Annie, I think. But then again, like maybe you just ban Kalista. Maybe Kalista is just out. But if you ban Kalista and you let them have Varus, you're kind of trolling. Turn it off. It's bad. YouTube Premium. Yep. How do I do this?
means hashtag he's in a gang it's a k wait what's the case oh it's the k for carrier wait is that a k i guess bro it looked like a hashtag to me bro <laughs> Bro, I used to play against that guy, Helios. Yeah, it's crazy they're doing worlds in Berlin, bro. I saw, I saw people complaining about that. Dude, they're doing worlds in the studio in Berlin. That's crazy, man. And then we go straight into uh, LPL right after this. The rust of JDG top. Damn, big. Kazakhstan can you beat the allegations? Yeah. No, he played a good game. Thorin Tweet. Why are you showing me the jungler who entered flame on my screen? <laughs> Crazy, bro. That's actually mental. The hot takes say Oak is the top five player in the world. <clears throat> I mean, 
It's hard to say, like, is it Elk who's the top five player in the world? Or is it that, uh, or, or is it that BLG is a top five bot lane in the world, you know? That's the difference. Because I don't think, like, like Elk and Om, the thing that makes them so scary is they're the best bot lane in the world at, like, creating dives and, like, understanding lane matchups. And I think that that's dependent on both of them. Like, I don't think that there's something that makes Elk super special. It's, like, the pairing that I feel like is so good. That's at least how I feel about it. Bro, let's get into the game. How long has this break been? Wait, it's only been 15 minutes? I thought it was longer than that. Tell Bubo to join the sack. I'm good, bro. I would like to get some words in on my stream today. Wibbles, good to have on a stream, but you got to be prepared to sit quietly for a while. <laughs> Saying that, um, MLG in season two or Blaze destroyed everyone. Um, no, I wasn't in the one that you're probably thinking about, but I did play against uh, Blaze a few times. I played against uh, Blaze, Zubu Blaze at uh, an MLG in Dallas, where they 2 0 us, but like we should have, yeah, we should have easily won game one. Yeah, I can find the game. Yeah, against Helios, it was this game. We had open Nexus, bro. And I remember we had open Nexus. What ended up happening? How do we get the Nexus open? Oh my God, we had inhib respawn. Look at the quality, bro. I'm dead actually for this. Wait, what happened? How did I die? This is like right when Rengar came out and no one knew what the fuck this champion did. Get killed by Captain Jack? Bro, what is this? This is Ambition, Captain Jack, Lustboy, Helios, and Shy. I mean, this team was pretty good. This was a fucking legendary team back in the day. Crumbs is playing Katarina top for some reason. What the fuck happened? And then here, I just remember I should have sold all my items because this is back when you played like Tank Rengar. I should have sold all my items and went um, Sheen and I should have backdoored with ult. All right. Into draft. But yeah, I played against Blaze. Got to play a series against Blaze. All right. So we get um, Nautilus TF banned by T1. Oh yeah, T1 is the team banning TF. Okay, Kalista, they ban Varus as well, and they leave up Oriana. They're leaving up Oriana, guys. I think it's Varus ban. It's Varus ban, right? And you leave up Oriana. They ban Ash. Varus is up. Varus is up for Guma. Wow, they take the Lucian over the Varus for Guma. What the fuck? Okay, 
Yeah, we won versus uh, CLG EU that tournament. Yep. <laughs> Zeri. Okay, Zeri is up. I guess you don't need to go Varus. But Lulu's down, so what do you go with Zeri here? Are they just going to go like Nautilus? Oh, wait, Nautilus is banned. Actually, what do they go with Zeri? Are they going to just draft Rel and flex it? Don't tell me it's a Yumi in game five. No! Why do they pick this dog shit champion, man? It's so bad. Nah, they, lo they lose, bro. T1's gonna win this shit. Is it Chovia Zir? Is it Chovia Zir? Or does he play something else? Corky? I hate it, bro. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. They're picking all the champions I hate. Okay. It's just gonna be a rumble ban, right? Just like game one, rumble Jace ban. Or maybe they think that rumble would be too much magic damage. They might leave up rumble. Keen's gonna be on Cassante or some bullshit. Rel? So Zin is being picked here by Kenyon then, no? Or do they just not care about Zin? Kazakhs, okay. So they're trying to set it up for an owner, Zin. So they're trying to force Gen G to pick Zin Zhao here. <laughs> but he's going to pick Kasante anyway. Bro, isn't it just Zach Zin Zhao and you have like Thanos draft? Don't you just go Zach Zin Zhao? And you're giga chilling? It's fucking over, bro. GG. GG. Ah, 서로 간의 팽대의 밸런스라고 했을 때 거기에 메이킹까지 더해서 탑 정글 쪽에서 그런 부분을 담당하고 그리고 D 쪽은 또 미드 원딜 쪽에서 담당하는 서로 밸런스를 굉장히 중요하게 생각한 조합이 나왔는데 여기서 포인트라면 저는 뭐 페이커의 오리아나를 풀기 싫었겠지만 풀 수밖에 없었잖아요. Oh. What did Canyon pick? I didn't even see. What did he pick? 어떤 식으로 눌러줄지 그리고 애니가 분명히 앞에 야심차게 나왔던 거 치고는 분명 실패였고. Poppy? Nah, it's fucking lost, bro. But guys! That was impossible. Bro. I'm triggered, man. I'm triggered. I mean, it's like they gave T1 everything they wanted. I'm just so surprised that this is what we came up with backstage. I mean... Okay, if you're a coper, if you're a coper, what could you say? All you can say is like, well, Genji, like, Genji fucking must have seen this coming. They must have had a plan. They must have had a fucking plan.
역시나 중요한 건 계속 강조해 주셨지만 테이커 우리하나 그리고 오너의 Just go LPL. If it, if it gets really ugly, we go LPL. If it's like completely like over game that's like boring to watch, then we go LPL. I'll probably watch this and then go LPL though. It is game 5, so might as well. Someone literally just told me GGT1 can't win. They have no damage to kill. They have no damage illusion or you can't kill Kasante Poppy. Oh, I mean, I, I mean, I think it's like completely fine. Oriana is really good at killing tanks. They're not really good, but it's fine at doing it. Camera. <laughs> no, Fager's Oriana is like legendary, bro. It's permanent band. Any support is so fake, man. I don't know. It's like the least scary shield support in the game. Level 2. Okay. Heal forward. Getting another chunk. Carry heals as well. I don't know, man. Hard for Poppy to get active in this one, too. It's pretty hard. Maybe they can do something bot? Holy fuck, the sorry, yep. Broken champion, bro. It's actually missing some CS, though. I mean, the lane seems way harder. Oh, he just eed. He just eed. Oh, he got flashed on by owner. Owner flash traded here. I wonder if owner could have played this differently. Holds it, bro. He's cold. Figures cold right now, but that's actually a pretty good gank from Canyon as well. Just relieves pressure, lets uh, Corky catch the wave. And I think part of the wave was actually missed by Fager. Yeah, he missed some experience there. Oh, he's got the lineup, bro. That's a crazy lineup, by the way. Okay. Flash for flash and barrier, I guess, from Pace. He doesn't miss much, though. He catches pretty much the entire wave, so. It's a decent play, but it's not, like, too crazy. Yeah, I mean, the reason why Chovy feels fine to burn his Valkyrie like this is because of the fact that he has, um... Wait, owner has no flash? Owner has no flash? He's dead? Owner's dead? He has no flash? I mean, I assume he's dead. Wait, is he not dead? Oh, good W. It goes to Chovy. Oh, that's huge. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Two and then goes back to his red. Kenyon still isn't based. He's got a bombies in base. He's got Pussio and Bio, bro. Let's fucking go. 
If, I mean, if Chovy gets a base and he's chilling. I wonder if he buys a Mar. CS and God, bro. Bro, he's just he's just he's just dodging Oriana ball. <laughs> that a thing? <laughs> Fucking Dom White and Bio. All right, Corky. I like that. Oh, Keen. Keen. Is that a kill? He's got. He's got his uh form. Okay, Keen. Okay. Put him in the fucking dirt. Put him in the dirt. Let's go. Holy! Huge. Toby flashed for that, by the way. He flashed for it mid. Flash trade mid. God, you're a loser. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a team that I like that's different than the team you like. My bad, bro. That makes me a fucking loser. Join the sack. Yamato is muted. There's no sack for for this one. Yeah. Uh, Balin is actually fine. Oh, he's gonna get cancel. Oh, he didn't get the cancel. Things are going well for Genji right now. Their comp might be, in my opinion, dog shit, but they're playing it very well so far. No flash for Faker. No flash for Faker. I mean, like they have to keep on fighting, Kenny. You? you gotta keep on fighting with your boy, bro. He's just dead. He's just dead. I thought Canyon played that weird. I thought he was just gonna open with E. EQ ult. Guarantee the Q2 proc. Like he kind of just baited Chovy into going forward here and then Chovy just dies. Yeah, that was a hex trigger buy from Chovy too. Oh, Kenya would just start with his E, yeah. That was the angle I thought. Straight up Knights Vow, never mind, he's not going bombies. It's two grubs to... I mean, it's a, yeah, I mean, it's just like two grubs to um, one. It's fine. Wait, why is that minion not moving? Anyone know? Oh, the game is just dog shit. Nice. Now we're running game one in the LPL. I believe it, bro. Uh, Oh, the Q ended up hitting. I mean, they got two grubs, so like the four grubs don't matter too much. Can they do anything to pressure bot off this wave, though, since they are giving grubs? Lens level six. Oh, he missed. Oh, he goes in. Huge. Well played, Canyon. Well played, Canyon. Redive? No, redive? Oh, I thought they had an angle. 
왔어요. 음. 어, 저, 저, 저게 한 번만 버텼어도 역으로 막 스킬 쓰면서 저항을 했을 텐데. 맞습니다. 전멸 네. 가지고 있는 상태였었고 캐리하기 좀. 캐리의 궁영계 더블 스킬까지 정말 정확하게 들어갔던 거예요. Static Revolution he actually cleared the wave pretty quickly. 이러는 모습까지 여러 가지 것들이 잘 터졌습니다. 너무 빨리 들어갔죠. I saw a Guma Sai on on cam. 비도 파고 뭐 기다렸다 하고 이게 아니라. 네, 저희도 좀 그. 준비하고 있었어야 되는 건데 바로 그냥 에 옥방 안 끝날까? 근데 그냥. That's a fucking max ranger by the way. I think Canyon should just walk down and deaggro it down and they should just redive. But it, yeah, Static Shiv actually just saves that situation pretty hard. But I think that Canyon just like he walked through the turret when he knows they're on grubs. Or he can at least like educate and guess they're on grubs. And with that they can just redive. Like I don't think Guma gets to live there. Okay. Okay, got the flash just like that. Dude, he's, he rushed a Rooker in top, okay. okay he's getting a plate, okay. Chovy has package for this Drake. Assume he's gonna take it. 쪽 같은 뭐 미니맵 보면 계속해서 덮고 있습니다. 자, 디니 제우스를요. Baker has TP though and Chovy doesn't. So Chovy wants to like push this wave, base, pick up package and then run. Yeah, he just W'd back. He's going for package now. I mean, right now item gap is there for T1. Mainly bot lane. Uh, look at how strong Guma is. How is Guma this rich? I have no idea. Pace just hasn't based for half an hour. <laughs> Zeus has, has uh, no flash for this fight. If they end up fighting. Two drakes. Mountain drake secured. Really nice drake for them too. Poppy plus. They have a uh, Cassante as well. Oh, he's just sitting on a ward though. You're on wards, little bro. <laughs> He's just here so that Pace can uh, base. Yeah, Pace just cashing this call. He's got like, I mean, he's got Shiv and then probably something else on top. Be surprised if it's just a Shiv. Yeah, Joey's basing here. Isn't the game going too slow for Genji? No, they're fine. They're chilling. This game's go going completely fine. Like, also, like, how is the game going slow? They have two Drakes already. Keen just trading his ult because he's going to go bot here anyway. They're swapping for the Herald play. But I mean, the game is not even going slow for Genji, is my point. Like, the game is not going slow. They got two grubs, so they denied six grubs and five grubs. And they, um,. They got two drakes, and the drakes are like really early drakes, bro. Like third drake is spawning at 17. This game. Canyon. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, he had the flash. <laughs> well played from Chovy there. Well played. Figure is uh, no TP for a while too. 
Chovy just TP'd. Mur mana is almost completed. He's just valkyrying forward. I mean, Chovy got through this, like, this lane, even though he, like, ended up getting a free kill from owner, like, his lane was not... He also got kind of killed by Canyon. Like, Canyon kind of ran, ran him down with the gank. Like, he has to dodge a lot of Orianna Qs and able to, uh, to be able to lane this. It's very hard to do what Chovy did. Yeah, bro, just, like, walk around by just... Just walk around and just dodge a million Ori Qs. Nice, man. Oh, my God. Did Keen do it again? He has red. Okay, Keen. He's putting Zeus in the dumpster, bro. He's putting Zeus in the dumpster in game five, bro. Zeus is choking in game five. Oh, no. Dude, he had counterpick into the Cassante too, bro. He counterpicked the Cassante with Zach, and then Keen is just outplaying him. He played the situation perfectly. He R'd the Zach out of his E, and then he insta W's after his um after his R lands so that he's able to uh dodge the knockback from Zachar. It's perfect. Okay, they're trying to dive Chovy. Keen has CP. Well played. Damn. The Valkyrie in. He's just like that. He didn't... He, he eat a minion on purpose to try to get close enough to Guma that he blocks the... The, the dash from Guma, but Guma held it. It was good by him. Corgi's going bot here, and he has a... Uh, he has package. Mm, that's pretty bad for Lehens. Lehens needs to base now. They need to try to wait for Lehens to base. A flash. Wait, what did what did Faker just do? Wait, why did Faker do that? Oh, Faker trolled! Faker grieved the whole game, they lose their Drake! Holy fuck, Faker trolled. He literally forgot that they had Poppy on the enemy team. And he just took the fucking oh, oh my god, Faker griefed. He griefed so hard. Come on, Genji. Come on, Genji. Come on, not again, man. Not again. All right, so now we've we've ruled out everything, right? We've done all the fixes. It's just completely fucked. Everyone said, turn off chat. It's because you're ad blocker. It's because of this. It's because of that. We've tried every single fix. Bro, exit page, man. Come on. Bro, why is it taking... So what the fuck, man? It's taking longer and longer. Wait, did I see that correct? Is that five? Oh my god, 600,000 viewers. What the fuck? I'm using Chrome. I mean, I don't know. I use Chrome at home and it never happens, so... I doubt it's just that. All right, something specific. Wait, why did Paige just ult? Paige, bro, what? What was the angle to ult there, man? That was crazy. Yo, we have we don't fight now, no matter what. I don't know what the pay's old angle was. I think he just like panicked and fat fingered, I assume. I assume he just panicked and fat fingered because there's no angle there.
근데 그거를 방지하는 그 방지성 요소가 크산테나 뽀삐 같은 친구들인 거죠. 아, 그러니까요. 그런 친구들은 웬만하면 한 방에 안 죽어서. 예. 그래서 더군다나 삼룡을 쌓았기 때문에 사실 운영 난이도에 있어서도 젠지가 좀 많이 편한 게 티원 입장에서는 부담이 될 겁니다. 자, 티원이 뭔가 강제하기가 그렇게 쉽지 않고요. 아, 이렇게 돈 차이가 조금 조금씩 더 유지가 되고 있습니다만 아래쪽 로 테스토 젠지. Nah, bro. Genji played with Testo this game. Keen put Zeus in the dumpster. Respect to him, bro. Like, the whole point of this pick is supposed to be that it's good in lane. Oh, Joey was like, I'm taking that too. He's TPing top, is why. He's taking everything. This is the build that uh, Viper goes, or Ruler goes, I mean. I'm not sure about it, man. I'm not really sure about the never second on Zeri, but whatever, it's fine. Crushing on mid. They know Chovy can't be there. They get it. All right, pretty nice. Mid turn matters a lot here. Two minutes on Seoul, though. Big ones from Corky. Bro, I swear Corky is just not even like a good champion. Like, I swear this champion just kind of blows. Trophy looking for the malignants. So ahead of Faker though. Faker is really behind in gold. Uh, Zeus is just sacking completely. Bro, no one is bot lane right now. I mean, Keen can go push out bot, bro. They're like, they're contesting over vision. I mean, I get the T1 rush is barren, but Keen has TP. Like, sure, yeah, T1 rush is barren, but Keen has TP. Okay, flash from Zeus. Flash ult from Zeus. They get that 30 seconds before Drake. Now they just go over to Drake and they have a winning Drake play where it's essentially just a 4v5. Corky is basing for package. I mean, how, like it's it's essentially a 4v5 here. They just have to not, they have to make sure that they don't lose too much HP on mid. Lens has to be careful. It's prepping a big one here. Oh, onto Guma. Oh, nice. Guma got flash cleanse. Flash cleanse and heal all from Keen and Keen has TP if he needs it. Well played from Keen there. They can start it. It's looking really good for them. Just stun him, bro. Oh, okay. Old from Keen or what? Finish the Drake, bro. What? Why did they not finish the Drake? I guess they get Baron. Bro, why did they not finish the Drake and Canyon misses ult too, man? I think this was free, bro. I think this was a free situation. They should just go Baron here, though. Baron is gone. Why did Canyon just peel off completely? Like, I have no idea. I have no idea. It makes no sense. They get free Baron though. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Still winning, but they could have got soul. You don't want Elder Flip? Bro, I think we take soul on Corky. Like, look, if we can't, like, you don't have to flip the Elder. If you have soul and you have Corky and you have this much control, it's not a flip. 
Like, I don't know, bro. They just, like, why does Canyon walk here to the blobs, bro? Why is Canyon up here? Like, he just doesn't care about Drake. Like, they can make the same play with Canyon not walking towards Zach. Bro. Okay, there's no flash on Guma here, so. Oh, Faker, Faker's gonna get killed, bro. I don't even think he can do anything. He has no phase rush. Canyon? Canyon? What's going on, Canyon? Wait, what happened here? Faker ended up just flashing the wall and King didn't ult? Okay. Oh my god, they're zooming on it. And they're really not getting much off the uh, Baron. Oh yeah, Keen, Keen did ult. You can't see on the minimap. But I guess he ulted and then Faker flashed the wall or something. But I feel like Keen should have just stayed on him forever with... um with just like uh Q's to slow in normal form yeah they get mid tier one that's big soul in two minutes really not that big of a um gold lead you know like they barely got anything from this baron they do progress towards Chovy's uh, 16. Is Chovy really going GA here, man? <coughs> Does he really need a GA? I guess, bro. I guess. Mm, they get tier 2 bot. That's actually pretty big. Tier 2 bot is huge. Q doesn't slow? Yes, Q does slow. Q on Cassante does slow. It just doesn't slow when you ult. Okay, they get global red. T1 doesn't have global red, which is actually a pretty big deal when it comes to these fights. And Faker has no flash. That's the crucial part. Faker no flash means that like if Keen if, if the fight gets fucked up and Keen is on him, he's just gonna die. What is the component next to the BF and Chovy's inventory? It's called Steel Sigil. It's the Steel Sigil. It's the Sigil! Figure I got this series. I don't want any T1 fans to tell me otherwise. Dude, it's like impossible to like rationalize LCK to people, man. Like, I was talking about on Twitter how Kerry is way better on non-traditional support champs than actual support champs. Like, he's been way better on like things like Nico, um, like Nico, Ash, you know, when he's playing with a Senna, for example, and he gets to play like Orin or Sejuani, whatever. He's way better on those champs than other champs. Oh, big, 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 soul guaranteed. Then when he's playing like Nautilus Rakan and they're like, uh, did you see his Nautilus yesterday? It's like, yeah, he in fed like five times in a row, bro. Nice play from Chovy here. Get Zinult. Like he wants to burn his package and now he gets Zinult for his package, which means that they can um, potentially like leverage that into like a fight around this red buff. Deny global red. Oh, look at the, the R from Chovy. He just hits, bro. He just hits. He just hits, bro. Let's go. 
and he's got GA completed. Oh, that Q3 landing onto Zeus would be his death. He would just get one shot there. <sighs> Pays almost griefed it. Oh my god, Lahens just completely whiffed ult. Not a good looking fight so far. Not a good looking fight for Genji there. They lost so many sums for no reason here. This is really bad by them. Like, Pays lost both sums. And yeah. I mean, I guess he doesn't necessarily need them if Zach doesn't have flash. Like, I guess that's the argument, but like him losing sums is actually pretty big. Baker's gonna have uh, death cap soon. Guma is super strong now. Guma is really fucking strong. That being said, Keen is tanky. What did Annie achieve this game that other supports weren't able to do? Like, I mean, he was able to... Okay, so if we're looking at the entire game, right? He was able to lane similarly to how a Lulu would lane. Lulu was banned here, where you trade, like, onto Lucian Nami heavily with the Zeri, you actually are able to lane because of that, and then he forces the enemy AD carry to bring cleanse, and he actually got, like, engages onto Guma. He's just tanking. I mean, this setup from Genji looks kind of weird, if I'm being honest. Enemy team is global red, too. Ooh, big. Contest this midwave. Keen? Is Keen dead? Keen's dead. Pays ulted. Pays ulted. Ooh. Keen has, has, has a TP in 45. Chovy has to just poke them here. Hmm. Pays ha not having sums is, is unlucky for them. They're going to start Baron off this. They're going to start Baron. Chovy has to poke them. Canyon has flash. Has no ult though. Oriana has no ult. They have to fight this. They have to fight this. They need to force position, bro. They need to force themselves in. They're missing everything. They have to give it. Oh my god, they lost Baron off that. Oh my god, that's a tragedy. That's a fucking tragedy right there. Chovy's gonna have a package for Elder Fight though. They didn't want to risk. They didn't want to risk losing the whole game. They just accepted it. I think Pei's ulting is a big mistake though. I think if Pei's has ult, Genji could potentially fight 4v5. But when Pei's ults and he just, they know that he just doesn't have it, it becomes way harder to do that. Oh, he's missing cannon. We're gonna take global red now. T1 will have Baron for the fight. Doesn't really matter for the fight, but it's mainly that they'll have Baron for the um, uh, like to leverage on the waves so that they get position on the elder. Bro, how is Pays still on three items? Guma's on six items? Or, I mean, technically four, like, whatever. You get the point. Why does Pays have no items at all? It makes no sense to me. There's no way he's actually that poor, right? He's got to have something. No? He just has nothing? Oh, he's a full GA. Holy shit, he was sitting on 3k. GA, really? Is that not pussy -o? Seems a little pussy -o, bro. It seems a little pussy to me. Okay, Elder in 39. 
선수가 힘이 많이 달라지잖아요. 맞습니다. 결국에 탱커의 운명은 샌드백이에요. 야, 맞습니다. 근데 이제 몇 초도 버티는 샌드백이냐. 네. 한번 주먹 피하는 샌드백이냐. 막 이런 차이가 <웃음> 있는 거예요. <거지. 웃음> 네. 그 차이가 크긴 하겠습니다만 돈은 일단 V자를 꺾인 상황이고요. Job security GA. Yeah, it smells like a job security GA, bro. 장로 10여 초. 마지막 승부. 나오지만, 네. 코르케의 역할이 젠지한테는 예. 되게 중요하고요. 그리고 이 슈퍼 발키리. 이번에 슈퍼 발키리가 있습니다. 슈퍼 발키리. It's a trophy carry me by, true. 지지 않았던 젠지입니다. 이 장로 타이밍에 어느 쪽으로든 예. 승부가 좀 기울이지 않을까. 생각보다. Oh! oh my god! <웃음> trophy? What the fuck? Bro! Guma's dead? Is Guma dead? Guma's dead? Is it over? Keen! Keen! It's Elder, it's Elder, it's Elder. Holy fuck, what the fuck? Bro, what did I just watch? That was insane, bro, what? Thing is, do they... Oh? Oh, Baker greeted. They're playing to end? Dude, I think, I, I don't know, bro. It's over, it's over, it's over if he gets it. They ascend, they ascend. Is it, is it over? No, they can't, they can't end, they can't end. They go, they go Elder. They were delaying the Elder a little bit though. They don't want to get the Elder, um... Too early because it's desynced with everything else on the map. That was crazy from Chovy though. Chovy flash package there. Like what the fuck? That was the most mentally ill thing I've ever seen. I don't want to hear anyone tell me that that Chovy's a pussy ever again. That shit was fucking crazy. Also, if Keen hits his Q3, the game ends. Oh, he actually could have uh, chilled a bit. He could have just E autoed Q3. Figures dead. Does he have void? He still has his GA too. I love what I'm seeing right here. I love what I am seeing. Beautiful. I mean, this elder is not actually even game winning, really? How is this elder not game winning, man? How is that not a game winning fight? I guess their champs just suck at, hit, at killing turrets, bro. One seventeen. I mean, they should be able to use this elder to get Baron, and then they should be able to leverage that in the next fight. They're going hard here. They should go hard here. I think. I'm just using that to try to clear the wave. He didn't get the next wave though. They're using their ult to try to clear the waves. Whoa, holy fuck. Oh my god. Two and hibs, two and hibs into Baron. Wait, somebody needs to go get that top and hib, bro. Okay, never mind. Minions got it. 30 seconds on Baron. Uh, Keen has no TP right now. But I don't think that like T1 can't face check, can they? Baron and they just play on the last wave. <laughs> Such an intense game. Bro, this is one of the best best of fives I've ever watched. This best of five is crazy. Guys, I got an important uh, message too on Twitter. 
Hey, would like to promote your page. I'm doing promotion on my page with 460,000 followers, which has 6.31 monthly and 2 million impressions per day. I'll help you get to more audience. Are you interested? By Big Tits Loves. Big boobs and ass. Follow this account if you like big boobs. Nice, bro. That's where I can get some real growth from big boobs ass twitter account that's how i make it bro i start with that i become the biggest influencer on twitter package for chovy he's gonna take it and just tp on the wave or what Damn. They want to end this game. Gotta be careful with this one. Okay. Can't use too many rockets, bro. He's like out of rockets almost. Spacing. Three inhibs. Nice. Keep leveraging it. Don't just don't into it, Chovy. Just don't into it with your package. You're scaring me a little bit. Oh. Okay. 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 Zeus is dead. Maybe not. Zeus is not dead. Boom. Let's go. Let's go! Another fucking loss! Another fucking loss in finals! Let's go, Genji! Let's go! That's crazy, bro! That's crazy! Let's fucking go! Holy shit! What a series, bro! I don't want to hear anyone talking shit about Chovy. I don't want to hear anyone talking shit about Chovy. Look what he did to the GOAT, bro! Nah, bro, this guy runs the LCK. He runs it, bro. This is his league. And I think he might win MSI as, as well, bro. I think he might just win MSI. I, I borderline would rather Genji win MSI just so Chovy gets an international title over having my beloved LPL win. I don't want to hear anybody calling Chovy a choker again. Damn, Keen won. Damn, Keen gets the title. And he and he just outperformed Zeus. He didn't get like carried to a title. Like, I mean he got outperformed in some of the games, but in game five he outperformed Zeus. He played really well in game one. I think his Cassante in game four was pretty good. And then this this game he fucking smurfed. Keen fucking smurfed. Holy shit. Such a fucking banger. Such a banger, man. Might be one of the best series I've ever watched live. Hasn't Keen won a title before, though? <sighs> yes. 
그만큼 정말 여유, 혈전이었고 예. 시원도 엄청난 경기력을 뽐냈기 때문에 마지막 순간까지도 진짜 엄청난 결력이 계속 나왔거든요. 그러니까요. 예. 혹시 모르는 상황이면 Alright boys. 전반적으로 어려웠음에도 불구하고 It's time to go to LPL. Yeah. Time to go to LPL. For YouTube friends, I have to restart the stream on YouTube for LPL. Because if I have too long of a VOD, then it like doesn't let me monetize it. I don't know why that happens, but that's just how it works. So I'm stopping YouTube and then I'm just bringing it back up. Hold on, hold on. Let me JDG versus TS. choice of having something that he could be proficient on whether it be the virus or the lucian regardless so taking away one of those felt like it would have been a wasted ban now probably have to TS play ads after draft i'm surprised not leaning into either for ts here i i would youtube isn't even bad bro i get more like dude i actually i'm i'm probably fucking up but i get more views on um youtube now than twitch but i make like literally a tenth of the money so i'm low-key just like i low-key just killed my twitch stream and now my viewership is like mainly on YouTube. Like during this game, I think I had like, what, like 7K viewers on Twitch. And on YouTube, I have like nine. <laughs> like I actually just get more viewers on YouTube now. Turn this off. All right, let's talk about draft. Okay, is your first pick for your gal? Cream with the Corky. Oh shit. Lil bro, watch Chovy. becomes a little bit more confusing after the first two picks right because you take the corky you know having having those virus arrows right alongside that to counteract these ears in my mind sounds like it makes a lot of sense but you're gonna watch lec the whiplash is gonna be crazy yeah because let's be real lpl corkies have been a little bit cursed has not been able to work out jdg though we get the virus coming out the roller and even the 